this is your captain speaking. We will be beginning our initial descent in just a few more moments. Uh, Mom, I am so excited. I did not believe this. I'm so glad you're excited, Zoe, but there's actually something that I need to tell you. No, no, don't even spoil the surprise. I don't even want to know where we're going anyway. I mean, I'll know as soon as we touch down. Our surprise vacations are the best, Mom. Are we going to Disneyland? I have a feeling that we're going to Disneyland. Maybe there's just a touch of pixie dust in the air. No, Zoe, we're not going to Disneyland. We're not? You know what? Never mind. Then don't tell me. I like it better when I have to guess anyway. No, I think it's best that you hear it from me before we land. Just in case you need to brace yourself. I mean, you do have two armrests on your chair. Why, Mom? What's going on? We're going on vacation, right? That's why we had to pack so much? We are technically going on vacation, but it might be more of a permanent vacation. Let's call it a permication. Mom, you're starting to scare me. Look, so we're not actually going to Disneyland or any other sort of vacation. We're moving to Brookhaven. We're moving to Brookhaven? You mean that teeny tiny weeny dinky town you grew up in that you left as soon as you could? Hey, watch your mouth, young lady. Brookhaven is full of good people. That's so great. Then why did you leave and never look back? Excuse me, I don't have to justify myself to you about anything. Yeah, you do when you're ruining my life. Hey, hey, I'm not ruining anything. Yeah, right. and I can't afford to stay in the house we have now. Totally out of money and the only place that I can afford is Brookhaven. Because my mom left me the house that I grew up in. This totally blows. That's not the spirit to have. Come on, it's gonna be exciting. Fresh start, new school. Oh, great. So now I have to be the new girl, even better. I don't even think a million Disneyland trips could make up for this. We have begun our initial descent into Brookhaven. We will be on the ground in just a few more minutes. Yippee. Meanwhile... Haven, did you not hear the pilot when he announced our initial descent? Oh no, I did. I just mean, what the heck kind of town is this? Hey, watch it. I'm from here. Yeah, but like, look at the cars. Ew, there's like not a single nice car around here. No G-Wagons, no Porsches, no Teslas. Oh, wait a minute. There's a Jeep. That's nice. Oh, wait. Never mind. No, it's not. You know, you can talk yourself into not liking something. Oh no, don't worry. I definitely don't think that's the case here. So, Mom, where's our car? Oh, I uh, didn't tell you. Uh, we don't have a car. What? No, I think you left that little detail out. Cars are expensive, Zoe, especially with how much gas costs these days. But if we don't have a car, how are we going to get around? Well, it's a good thing that God bless you with two healthy, strong legs, huh? You mean we have to walk home? You've got to be kidding me. We can't walk home. That's for losers. Well then, I guess we're gonna be losers. Cause unless you know of a place where we can get a car for five dollars, we're gonna be walking. Moments later. Seriously, mom, I'm freezing. Please open the door. Wait just a second. I'm gonna do a big reveal. Trust me, this is definitely not necessary. All right, pooper. All right. Welcome to my childhood house. Uh, this is where you grew up. Yup. Wow. So many memories flooding through. Each one better than the last. Is there? Okay, rude. I know this is in LA, but this is the hole I grew up in. And I am really proud of it. No, I get that. It's just a uh, different. Are you seriously disappointed? This day has been full of disappointments, Mom. Well, be that as it may, you better go upstairs and get to bed. You got a big day tomorrow, your first day of school. Uh, do I have to? Well, duh, of course you have to go to school. I'm pretty sure the law says you have to go until you're like 18. Oh, I know that, but please, please don't make me go to school in Brookhaven. I just, I don't want to do it. I don't want to be the new girl. I don't want to have to start from scratch and make all new friends. Please, please don't make me. Well, what do you suggest we do then? You homeschool me, please, please. It's bad enough for you to move here in the first place, but being the new girl is the ultimate humiliation. Please, just homeschool me. Well, I'm really sorry, girl, but I've got to go to work. But there's really no way that you can be homeschooled. Come on now. I went to Brookhaven Middle School and I survived. It'll be totally fine. But you better go to bed now, though, because the morning is going to come up quickly. Uh, fine. The next morning. So 
What should I wear? Hmm. There we go. If I'm gonna be miserable, I may as well be fashionable too. Who isn't gonna like me in my best outfit from back home anyway? If anything, maybe wearing this will start a conversation with someone cool. Oh well, here goes nothing. Meanwhile, I'm off to my death, mother. Don't wait up. Oh well, before you die, let me just grab a first day of school picture of you. I am begging you, mom. Put the camera down. Oh, you are so not fun anymore. You used to beg me to take pictures of you, and now you're begging me not to. I just don't get it. Oh, I guarantee that you understood when you were my age and your parents tried to take a picture of you. Yeah, I guess. Is uh that what you're wearing to school today? Yeah. What? What's wrong with it? Oh, nothing's wrong with it. It's just I don't know, Zoe. I mean, you're not in Hollywood anymore. You're in Brookhaven, and wearing all Gucci isn't really a Brookhaven thing to do. Oh my God, Mom! First you make me move to this dumb town and go to this dumb school, and now you're trying to tell me what I can and can't wear. When does it end? No, no, I'm not trying to tell you what you can and can't wear. I'm just uh, looking out for you. Yeah, well, don't. You're a mom, which automatically means you don't know anything. Okay? Alrighty then. Have a great day at school, Zoe. Moments later. Wow, this school is so much smaller than my old school. I wonder if it has plumbing inside. It has to, right? Uh, I so don't want to go in. Please, someone don't make me go in. Uh, fine, here goes nothing. Meanwhile. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, do I have a special treat in store for you today. An ice cream party? No, although that would be fun, though. It appears that we have a new student joining us all the way from sunny Los Angeles, California. Everyone say hello to Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Zoe, why don't you stand up so everyone can know who you are? Um, okay. Now I want everyone to give Zoe a nice warm welcome to Brookhaven. What is with the Gucci outfit? What, do you think you're better than all of us or something because you're from L.A.? Is that the case, Hollywood? What? No, not at all. Okay, Ava, that's not exactly what I meant by warm welcoming. In fact, I think I feel a little ice in the air now. I'm just saying, who does Zoe think she is? Coming in from LA with a fancy outfit and trying to show all of us up? What? No, I never meant to do any of that. Yeah, Ava, I'm pretty sure that was never the intention. Ooh, ooh, are your friends any movie stars? No, I've actually never met any. Let's did you live in a mansion? <laughs> Do you guys not hear yourselves? Clearly, she's not famous if she's here in Brookhaven. And clearly, she doesn't live in a mansion. Isn't that right, Hollywood? Wait, stop calling me Hollywood. My name is Zoe. What was that, Hollywood? Don't think you're going to come into our territory with all your nice, rich things and rub it into our faces without getting a little payback. What? I swear, I'm not trying to do that at all. I'm not rich, I promise. Really, I don't have, like, any money. Ooh, did you hear that, guy? Hollywood is poor. <laughs> okay, okay, Ava. I think that's enough for today. Zoe, you can go ahead and sit down. Yes, Zoe. Better enjoy wearing pants for now before you have to sell them to pay mommy's bills. Okay, well, that didn't go exactly how I expected it to. Many hours later. Um, excuse me. This area is for parents pick up only, and I don't recall seeing your kid around here. Believe me, I know I'm president of the PTA. Firstly, Ashley, you don't remember me? Jeez, did I age that badly? Oh, it's you. Ugh. Wow, nice to see you too. Glad to see we've really grown up since middle school. How did you know, Mackenzie? I assume you thought you were better than this town considering you left and never looked back. Now suddenly, look who's back. What? What are you talking about? I never said I was better than this town. I just left because I got a good job. Uh, whatever. I don't even want to hear it from you because unlike when we were students, I run this school now. I finally have the power I've always craved. Okay, you do you, I guess. <laughs> Gosh, honey, what's wrong? Are you crying? I had the worst day ever. It was awful, Mom. Oh, no, no. This was supposed to be great. Tell me what happened. There was this bully. She was so mean. I hate it here. I just want to go home. A bully? Really? There's my little superstar. How was school? Did you knock all those losers out of the way? <laughs> you bet you, Mom. Oh, of course. How fitting is this? I guess the apple doesn't fall too far from the poison oak tree. A few moments later. So we come on, please, talk to me. What do you want me to say, Mom? Besides, you ruined my life. Wow, well, I think that's just a little harsh, don't you? Um, no, you dragged me to Brookhaven. Now, apparently, your childhood bully's kid is bullying me. And for what reason? Just because her mom hates you? 
listen, I had no idea that Ashley had a daughter your age. If anything, that may have been one reason to stay away. I can't believe I'm being tormented at school because of you! Hey, 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 now that's not fair. It's not all my fault that Ashley's a bully. It's not like it's your fault that Ava's one. Like my mom told me, you just have to learn to rise above them. Easy for you to say. You don't have to see her every day. No, but I do have a lot of experience. I wish I never moved here! Meanwhile... Right, now I'm trapped up here in my mom's old bedroom. Wait a minute, this is my mom's old bedroom. I wonder if she hid anything cool up here. Oh my gosh, my mom kept a diary? How old is she? That is so 90s! Wait a minute, there's a secret place in Brookhaven? Moments later... Oh. to go? Oh, well, yeah, duh. Well, then you'll be home at 11. Ugh! I love you. Yeah, she loves me. Later that same evening. Oh, I am so gonna kill that kid. Oh, and it's after midnight. I knew it. Be home by 11, my butt. I knew she wasn't gonna listen to me. If I would have done that at her age, my mom would have locked me in the basement and never let me out ever again. I can't believe she has the nerve to tell me she's gonna be home by 11 and then just never show up. Oh, heck no. A few moments later. What is going on down here? It's almost one o'clock in the morning. Oh, uh, what do you mean? I'm just sitting here minding my own business and you just ran down here like the commander general. Oh, don't you give me lip, young lady. Give you lip? Why are you talking like a grandma? Oh, forget grandma. She can't help you now. Do you have any idea what time it is? Yeah, but... But, but nothing. I told you to be home at 11 and it is two hours past 11. But I did get home at 11. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that I got home at 11 just like you told me to. I'm not late, Mom. Oh, yeah? Well, if that's true, why are you down here after midnight making noise and closing doors? Because I got thirsty, so I came downstairs. Hence why I'm in my pajamas. When I was getting water, I thought I heard something outside, so I just opened the door to check, and that's all. If I was just coming in, why would I be in my pee? PJs. Oh, don't play with me. I was once your age, too. I know very well that you could have had your PJs on under your clothes and taken them off quickly after sneaking in late just to make it look like you've been home for hours. Well, I didn't, but ooh, cool trick. I'll have to try that. No, oh, I have to stop giving you ideas. Bad mom, bad mom, but you have to admit that you came in after curfew. Well, I'm not gonna admit it because it's not true. Zoe, I know it's true. Are you calling me a liar? If the shoe fits, kiddo. Well, I'm not lying. And there's no way for you to prove that I wasn't home at 11 like I said. So what are you gonna do about it? I won't tell you what I'm gonna do about it. The next day... I have no idea what I'm gonna do about it. Girlie, I'll tell you what you're gonna do about it. Wait, what are we talking about again? Zoe, that little monster, I swear. She used to be so cute. And then she just morphed into this deceitful, fresh little terror. whose face is always stuck in a constant eye roll. So what you're saying is she's a teenager. Ugh, I guess so, but I wasn't that bad as a teenager, right? You're so adorable. Girlie, it's normal. Everything she's doing at her age is perfectly normal. I don't care if it's normal. It's a pain in the butt. I can handle the mood swings and the constant stomping around and the door slams. That's teenager stuff. But what I can't handle is the lying. But Zoe insisted she didn't lie? Yeah, but I know she did. And how do you know for sure? Because I am her mother, and it is very easy to tell if the person you created is lying. Oh, God, I understand everything about my mother now. Well, 
what you have to do is catch her in the lie. We pretty much caught her last night, sitting down on the couch at 1 a.m. like she owned the place. No, oh, no, that's not good enough. You need to literally catch her in the act with proof of her coming in after curfew. If you can prove that she's lying, then you can stick it to her. Huh, well, how do you suggest that I do that? What about a security camera? <gasps> You mean like spy on her? Sky, I can't. She will never trust me again. Who's the parent, girly? And I mean, it would be for her own good, right? I guess. I just want to protect her, mostly for herself. Bad things happen at night. And coming in after curfew could actually be really dangerous. See? You justified it. And I used to watch her through a baby monitor when she was little. So, I mean, like, how is this any different, right? A less convincing argument, but still valid. I was also just going to say, don't tell her. Yeah, that works too. Now, where do I get a security camera from a few moments later the police station really sky hey if you want surveillance equipment where else would you go i don't know there's not like a radio shack around here or something a radio shack how about you step into this century grandma come on let's go mackenzie sky how can i help you oh no you're not in any trouble are you no no not at all george we just need a security camera and figured this was the place to get one a security camera are you trying to catch some sneaky little Little perp? Not exactly. We're just uh, trying to do our part to protect against break ins in the area. Yeah, you know, we need to like keep Brookhaven safe. Hey, I'm a cop. Hearing you want to keep Brookhaven safe is music to my ears. All right, here you two go. Wow, thanks. It's a lot less cool and spy like than I thought. You two know how to set it up, right? Who do you think we are? Of course, we know how to set it up. Moments later. Uh, Okay, we have no idea how to set it up. But I thought you told George that you did. Of course I said that. I wasn't going to tell a police officer that I didn't know how to hook up a security camera. I mean, it's attached pretty well. It looks like it's working. Girly, looks like it's working and is working are two totally different things. Well, I'm less concerned if it's working and more concerned about how visible it is. Do you think Zoe's going to see it up there in the entrance corner? Zoe is a teenager. She has her head down all the time looking for the latest tweet or Snapchat. The last thing she's going to be looking for is a new camera her mom hung up. Basic girly, everything you do is pretty much insignificant. Wow, okay, that is super hurtful and also somewhat effective. So I'm gonna forget the fact that my daughter doesn't care about my existence and just be glad for the fact that she probably won't notice. What's the big deal if she sees it though? Are you kidding, Sky? She'll think I don't trust her. Girly, you don't trust her. That's the whole reason we're doing this in the first place. Yeah, but I don't want her to know that. A few moments later. Oh! I'm going out. Oh, okay, have fun. You'll be home at 11, right? Ugh, Mom, for the last time, I'm always home at 11. Get off my back. Okay, okay, no worries. I trust you. God, I mean, was that so hard? Not hard at all. Why don't you just go out and have fun? I'll be here when you come home. Actually, I'll probably be in bed because 11 is a little late for your old mom. But you know what I mean. Ugh, you are so lame. Who goes to bed at 11 anyways? Bye. Ah, yes, that's right. Walk outside right past the camera, which is timestamped so I can see exactly what time you get home tonight. Lame is it? Oh no, this is mom on fire. Later that night. That little monster, it's 11 o'clock right on the dot, and she is literally nowhere to be found. I know it, I know it. Actually, wait, she might just be running a few minutes late. Let me give her the benefit of the doubt. I mean, she is my kid after all. I bet in five minutes she'll be here. Five minutes later. That little monster. Three hours later. Huh? Huh? Oh, what's going on? Oh my gosh, the security camera. That beeping is the motion sensor. <gasps> I knew it. Oh, she is so dead. It's three in the morning. I am so angry, and now I caught her red-handed. <gasps> She's using my own movement against me. How dare she? Talk about having no respect. There's no way I can't prove that she wasn't home. Well, just you wait, little lady, because I'm about to prove it. That'll be the last night she asks me what I'm going to do about something. A few moments later. Um, hi. What are you doing up? Oh, I'll be asking the questions here, little missy. Why are you freaking out, Mom? I've clearly been home for a while. Look, I'm in my PJs. Oh, yeah? You've been home for a while? Yeah, 
got in like five minutes before 11. Ah, yes. Must have been nice for you to come in a little five minutes with that extra little wiggle room. Plenty of time to relax and not think about how dumb your mom is. What were you talking about, Mom? You sound like a crazy person. Oh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about how you didn't come home until 3.14 on the dock. Then you just changed your clothes outside and pretended like you've been down here and are lying to my face right now. Wait, how do you know the exact time I got home? I, uh, um, uh... Have you been spying on me? Um, hey, are those new PJs? Because those are super cute. <gasps> you are spying on me. That's a security camera. Yes, okay, yes, that's a security camera. But that is not the issue. The issue is I caught you lying on it. I can't believe this. I thought you trusted me. A few moments later. Uh, knock, knock. Go away. I don't want to see you. Well, you may not want to see me, but I want to see you. Why? You didn't get a clear enough look on your camera. Ooh, good burn. No, I thought that we should talk. I'm sorry for spying on you and not trusting you. But if you think about it, I think I had a pretty good reason. You lied to me, Zoe. I caught you on camera lying to me. I know. I'm sorry. Zoe, I always thought you were honest with me. When you were little, you told me everything. I guess part of me was hurt that you don't anymore. I've never had a teenager before. This is all new to me. I've never been a teenager before. It's new to me, too. Well, in that case, why don't we work on learning together and not hiding things from each other? I never should have put that security camera up. It was dumb. Actually, it was your Aunt Skye's idea. I shouldn't have lied to you, and I shouldn't have broken curfew. This one girl was bullying me about being a baby, so I thought she'd stop if I stayed out super, super late. Oh, well, honey, you can always come and talk to me about that. If anyone knows about being bullied, it's me. Have I ever told you about this girl named Ashley? Yes, Mom, repeatedly. Anyway, can you forgive me? Of course. If you could forgive me for the security camera. Even though, as I mentioned, it was your in-sky's idea. So if you're looking to place blame. Yeah, I forgive you. So, uh, does this mean that you're not gonna ground me now? Oh, honey, not a chance. But the good news is we still have the camera so you can watch it. And remember what the outside world looks like from your prison cell. Okay, so I made this amount last month. And given that I pay my bills on time and don't run into any unexpected issues, that means whatever money I have left over will go to Zoe's Christmas. Gift. Wait, no, 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 that's all? That cannot be right. I've been pulling double shifts at the grocery store almost every single day. I've got to have more money than that in my holiday budget. I mean, I seriously have the best daughter ever. I just want to give her the Christmas that she deserves. Ugh, why is it that the older Zoe gets, the more expensive Christmas is? I can't 12-year-olds just play with toys anymore. Seriously, I could get her a lot of cool stuffed animals if she wanted them, but electronics and Robux are so expensive. Hey, Mom! Ah! Oh, what are you doing down here, young lady? Uh, I was gonna get a glass of lemonade. That's all. Is that allowed? Yes, getting a drink is allowed, but coming into the kitchen when I'm working on your Christmas wish list is not. So scram, little missy. Ooh, you're working on my Christmas list? I am so excited. Christmas is gonna be here before we even know it. You understand my list, right? I put one asterisk next to what I kind of want and two next to the stuff I super duper badly want. I think that's just makes sense. Yep, I got the Christmas list that you slid under my door. And the one you texted me, and the one you emailed to me, and emailed to my work computer also, and the one you also tweeted to me. What? I was just being thorough. What? You really think I would have forgotten if you didn't contact me on every cellular device known to mankind? No, but I also couldn't take that risk. This is Christmas, Mom. No, I know, honey. But you know how we've had the talk about how times are tight right now? Yeah, I know. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm mature enough for adult conversations, Mom. Okay, so we are having an adult conversation. Things are a little rough right now. I don't want you to worry, but just know that I can't go totally overboard this year. I get it, Mom. I know if you could, you'd get me the world, and that's what matters. Aw, what did I do to deserve the best kid ever? I know. I'm pretty awesome, aren't I? The next day... Hey, Mackenzie, are you just getting in? Yeah, my shift starts in five, and I'm working a double today. I was hoping I could ask you a question before, though. Sure, what's up? Well, you know how Christmas is coming up, and I was wondering if I could up some extra shifts a little bit closer to Christmas so that I could afford to get my daughter some more Christmas presents. She's been so good this year, and I really cannot afford anything right now. Oh, Mackenzie, you know you're one of the hardest workers, and I'd love to help you. So you're going to? I really wish I could, but I was actually going to come talk to you about something after your shift. Oh, yeah, what's up? Is it about the company holiday party? I know stringing all that garland can be a real pain. No, Mackenzie, it's not about the holiday party. You know, telling you might in fact be more difficult than I thought. Okay, well then it's 
instead of keeping me dangling in suspense, why don't you just tell me? Here I am thinking I won the lottery or something. No, you didn't win the lottery. Although, strangely enough, that would fix this whole thing. I cannot give you more hours this holiday. Oh, you can't? Hang on, Mackenzie. That's not the worst part. Oh, brother, this is never good. Not only can I not give you more hours, I'm afraid we're gonna have to need to cut your hours back from what they are now. Meaning we don't even need you to work a double today. What? I'm really sorry, but we hired so much new help for the holidays, and we need to give all the part-timers some hours. So you're giving them my hours? How am I supposed to afford Christmas presents for my daughter if you're cutting my hours? I'm really sorry, but my hands are tied. Yeah, my hands are gonna be tied, too, with a plaque that says world's worst mom later that same evening hello there yes is this starbucks yes i'm calling to see if you guys are hiring by any chance um no as a matter of fact i don't know how to make a latte or the secret ingredient in a peppermint mocha but i am a quick and eager learner but why not i buy enough of your drinks and cake pops for my daughter you think that would mean something hi mom Oh, shoot. I've got to call you back, but don't give the position to anyone else. Hey, Mom. What's up? Nothing. Nothing at all. Why would something be up? Um, because you were just on the phone and I hung it up as soon as I walked into the room. Oh, <laughs> that. Th that was nothing. I was just talking to Skye. No big deal. I'll just call her back later. Oh, I didn't realize you and Aunt Skye had secret conversations. What's your best friends? You're always best friends, Zoe. So, anyways, how was school? Did you learn anything new? Eh, no, not really, but it was an interesting day. Oh, yeah? How so? Okay, so all these kids at school had this book from Amazon that has all the hottest toys of the year in it. And one of them let me go through it. Oh. Yeah, it was like really neat, Mom. I mean, a lot of the toys were just okay, but there is this one cauldron toy called a Magic Mixie. And get this, it uses real magic to create your very own toy made from the air. Wow, cool. That does sound neat. I know. Everyone is asking their parents for Magic Mixies, and I know we talked about it and you can't go overboard this year, and that's totally fine. But if you could maybe, like, think about possibly getting me one, it could, like, count as my Christmas and my birthday present for two years. I mean, where else are you gonna get a deal like that? Oh, you're right, sweetie. That is a heck of a deal. Now, if you don't mind me asking the boring mom question, uh, how much is a Magic Mixie? I mean, like, if it can make a toy out of thin air, it can't be cheap, right? Well, the thing is, it's, like, uh, $80. $80? But when you keep that in mind, it would cover like four different presents. It really is a steal. And it can make this like the best Christmas ever. All right, yeah, I promise I'll think about it. A few moments later. Oh my gosh, Sky, I don't know what to do. Well, first things first, Curly, is you need to stop rambling and tell me what's going on. I don't need to hear about whatever it is on Zoe's TikTok. By the way, do you know how many followers that girl has? No, Sky, it's not going up on TikTok because Zoe doesn't know. Okay, so I went into work today and asked for more hours, but then my boss told me that she's cutting my hours. And then, in the same afternoon, my child, who is literally the best child ever, asked for this one Christmas present that she really, really wants. And obviously, I can't buy her this super high-tech cauldron because I have no money. And Sky, if I don't figure things out soon, we could lose the house. Geez, Curly, maybe if you got the cauldron, you could find a recipe for a potion that could make you rich. I'm being serious. I don't know what to do. I just don't want to ruin her Christmas by not getting her what she wants. Kenzie, Come on, Zoe is a great kid, and she knows there's more to Christmas than just presents. I know, I just really want to get her this darn magic mixie. The next day... How can I help you today? Would you like us to all at the bar or at the booth? Oh, neither, actually. I'm not here to eat. Well, if you're not here to eat, uh, what are you doing at the diner? Sorry, I should have explained that a little better, shouldn't have I? I was just wondering if you guys are hiring for the holidays. I... And before you say anything, just no, I wouldn't be asking you unless I was totally desperate. My last job cut my hours, and I have a daughter who I can't afford to get any Christmas presents for. And she wants this magic mixie, and I can't really get her that without any magic money. So please, if you believe in the Christmas spirit at all, please, please help. Help a poor girl out. I'll do anything. Clean the bathrooms or the tables. And literally cover any shift that you need. Whoa, calm down, lady. Look, we're not hiring right now. But you seem really desperate and it is the holidays. How about you take all the extra shifts waitressing? You can start right away. Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you. You will not regret this. I better not because starting now, I'm your boss. A few moments later. Ah! Oh boy, do you move fast. I literally just told you I got hired here. Yeah, well, free burgers kind of have that effect on me, girly. Is that really all you're here for? Free food? Free food and to see you. I'm really 
really proud of you that you found a job so quick. Yeah, I'm living the dream. Wait, why do you still sound upset? I thought this is what you wanted. Well, in theory, yeah, but think about it. It's Christmas Eve, and I'm not at home with my daughter. No, I'm flipping burgers, and yeah, I'm making money. That's cool and all, but I have no time with her, so what's the point? I think I have something that will cheer you up. Meet me out back by my car. Oh, God, Sky, no surprises, please. It's not a surprise, but it might be an answer to your problems. Okay, let me just finish this order, and then I'll sneak around back to meet you. Meanwhile... I'm almost afraid to ask. Please don't tell me you have a body in there. Why would I have a body in there? Who would that help? No, girly, look. Sky, uh, what is that? It's a magic mixie, just like what you said Zoe wanted. Oh, my gosh, Sky, you're the best friend in the whole world. Where did you get it? Where did you find it? How did you find it? It was no big deal, really. I know you're looking for one, so I bought it from some guy in the alleyway. I paid a lot for it, but... The look on Zoe's face will be worth it. A guy in the alleyway? Sky, that is so dangerous. You're lucky you weren't killed, and you're also probably ripped off. You don't even know if it's a real magic mixie. He could have just sold you a rock. Of course, I'm sure, girly. Here, I'll show you. Uh-oh. What is that? Because to me, it looks like a stuffed animal that you can get at the grocery store. Uh, I was scammed. I can't believe it. You were right. The guy never had a magic mixie. Mackenzie, is this why I hired you? To socialize outside while burn are in there on the grill burning? No, 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 Mr. Raiderman, sir. I am so sorry. I was just coming back now. Yeah, well, how about I save you a step and you don't come back? You're fired. You can continue with your conversation now. Don't let a little thing like work get in your way. Oh, it's Christmas Eve and I have no job and no money and no presents for Zoe. The next morning. Mom, wake up! Mom, Mom, you are the best mom ever. Thank you, thank you. Huh? What? Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, don't play one present under the tree, and it's a magic mixie! I knew you'd come through for me. I love you so much. I love you too, honey. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, why don't you go and set it up? I'm gonna go right now. Ah, this is the best Christmas ever! <laughs> Morning, girly! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas? Look, that was really sneaky of you to buy Zoe a magic mixie and then sneak it under our tree. You're really a great aunt, Sky. Thank you. I mean, thanks for the compliment, but wasn't me. I've been home all day. I have my Christmas present for Zoe over here. Figured I'd still give her the teddy bear. Guy, you can drop the act. Zoe literally just found the magic mixie under the tree. Well, it wasn't me. Well, it wasn't me either. Don't say it. It had to have been Santa. Meanwhile. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Congratulations, Mackenzie. They are two healthy, beautiful girls. Oh my gosh, they're girls? I have two daughters? Wow. Yes, you do. They're spectacular. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do with them? I have two babies and only two hands. I'm outnumbered. There's more of them than there are of me. I don't suppose an extra arm comes along with having twins, right? Mm, no, I don't think so, but that's a good suggestion. So, uh, which twin is which? Well, I'm holding baby A and you're holding baby B. So, do you have any names picked out for them yet? You know, I've always loved the names Isabel and Annabelle. You're gonna give identical twin girls rhyming names? Oh my gosh, that is so cruel. They'll be known as the Bell Twins. Hey, I like it. Isabel and Annabelle. Now that I know who they are, I'll never mix them up again. All right, are you sure you want to name them that? Positive. Alrighty then, and I'm pretty sure you have some visitors that would like to come in. Oh, visitors, send them on in. I love visitors. Hey, girly. Oh my gosh, are these them? No, Sky, I'm renting those, you fool. The real babies are out in the hall. Wait, really? No. Haha, <laughs> very funny. You don't have to be mean. They are so cute, girly. The one you're holding is Annabelle. Oh, are you just so cute? Uh, are you sure you're gonna be okay with all this, girly? What are you talking about? I mean, having twins is a big responsibility. Are you sure you haven't bitten up a little more than you can chew having twins by yourself? Well, I'm pretty sure it's a little bit past the return policy. But I'll be fine, Sky. I mean, besides, how hard can two twin baby girls be? Several days later. Oh my gosh, Sky was right. This is so much harder than I thought. Ugh, I wish I could just give you an iPad and let you watch YouTube. And you, what the heck are you crying about now? The next morning. Good morning, my beautiful girls. I'm just gonna go into the kitchen and make you your bottles. On second thought, you two are just too cute. I need to get a look at your faces. Ah! Oh my gosh! 
You guys are both wearing the same outfit. No, 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 no. The outfits were the only way I could tell you two apart. What am I gonna do? I must have been so tired that I put Annabelle in the extra onesie last night. Okay, calm down, Mackenzie. You're not the worst mother on the planet just because you can't tell which kid is which. All right, let's try this. Isabel, raise your hand. <laughs> All right, well, let's try this again. Uh, Isabel, raise your hand. Oh, come on, guys. Someone has to do something and help me out here. There's got to be one thing about you that's different. Uh, except for the fact that you look the exact same. And for the life of me, I cannot tell which is which. Uh, am I the worst mother ever? How can I not tell my own babies apart? What kind of mother does that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, don't worry, girls. We'll call Aunt Sky. She'll be able to fix everything. Meanwhile... Goddaughters, and I hate to break it to you, but... What? But what? Say something! Yeah, I cannot tell them apart either. They're literally the exact same. Oh, well, the doctor said that they're mere twins. Which means that one of them will write with their left hand, and one of them will write with their right hand. Well, unless they're gonna pick up a pencil and decide to start writing, I don't really think that is gonna help us now. Okay, well, what will help? They're babies. Do you know anything that makes them different from each other? They're still only a couple of days old. Still trying to get to know each other. Come on, think, girly, think! Okay, well, uh, Isabel likes to eat. All babies like to eat. You told me to think of something, okay? And she seems to like her bottle more than Annabelle. Okay, okay, that's something we can work with. Okay, you try and feed the first pink one, and then I'll feed the other one. Wow, you're really calling your kids first and second pink one? Oh, come on, Sky, work with me! That's not what I mean. You're not supposed to be drinking it. Moments later. <laughs> to drink the bottle. It's official. I don't know which kid is which. What am I gonna do, Sky? I can't send them to school one day not knowing who they are. What are they gonna write on their paper when it says name? A big question mark? There is one more option. What is it? I'll do anything. We can go back to the hospital and do a blood test. Just because they're twins, their DNA is still different. I mean, a blood test will definitely tell which one is Annabelle and which one is Isabel. Sky, you're a genius. Oh, what would I do without you? Well, for one, you'd have no idea which one of your kids is which. Okay, that was just cruel. Meanwhile... Help! Help! We need help! Ah! Oh my god, what is your emergency? Wow, way to enter a hospital, Sky. You have watched way too Grey's Anatomy to know. Not cool. So there is not an emergency? Well, technically a pre-emergency. Wait, someone please tell me what on the earth is going on here. So, you see, I just had these babies, which are super adorable. Cutest babies ever, and I may have sort of mixed them up. And now I don't know who is who. So you're here because you don't know who your babies are? Hey, there is no need for judgment, okay? Parenting is hard. Us moms should try and build each other up, not tear each other down. I'm into that, girly. Let me have the nurse come talk to you. He'll have a better idea of what to do in your um unique situation. Moments later. Oh, no, 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 no. Why is that needle coming anywhere near me? Relax, miss. The needle is for a blood test for the babies. Oh, right. I have to say, in all my years here as a nurse in Brookhaven, I have never had a mother mix up her kids to the point of needing a blood test. Hey, listen, this is gonna be an adorable story to tell them when they're older. I mean, it really adds character if you think about it. Alrighty, well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the babies and draw blood from each of them. The results will take about an hour, but after that, we should have a good idea of who's who. You're gonna take them? You can't just draw their blood here? You know, usually when we draw kids' blood in front of the parents, the parents end up crying harder than the babies. Don't worry, Mom. I'll take good care of them. Oh, uh, whoopsies. You totally forgot that there was two, didn't you? Yeah, sorry about judging. We'll be right back. One eternity later. Ugh, what is taking them so long? This waiting is torture. Maybe the nurse mixed them up with some other babies. Not funny, Sky. Sorry, girly. You set me up. Sorry to keep you waiting here, but the results are in, and I changed Annabelle here into a blue outfit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. My poor babies, I promise I will never switch you guys up ever again. Yeah, about that, I took the liberty of writing their names on their diapers. You know, just in case. Wow, why didn't we think of that? I swear, for the rest of their life, I will never mix them up again. Thanks for making 
dinner, Mom. It's really great. Of course, honey. That's what moms do. After a day of school like we had, we could use it. Speaking of school... Ugh, nice going bringing up school, Annabelle. Shut up, Isabel. Both of you bells, stop it. Oh, now I know what people meant about your name's rhyming. Anyways, about school, Isabel, you really need to study for that math test. Ugh, I know, Mom. Yeah, well, you said you knew last time and you barely passed. So sorry if I'm not taking your word for it. Hey, don't take it out on me. Annabelle filled her Spanish test. Hey, you're my twin. You're supposed to have my back. Every man for himself. Oh, no, don't worry. I didn't forget about that. Annabelle, you need to study very hard for your next Spanish test. If you don't get at least a B, you'll be held back. Yeah, but Spanish is so hard. Psh, no, it's not. I can almost speak it fluently. Yeah, well, math is easy too, you big dummy. Hey, enough. Everyone has their strong points. You know, since I'm really good at Spanish and Annabelle is awesome at math, we should just switch places and take each other's tests. Oh my gosh, that is such a good idea. Uh, no, that is not even funny. Why not? That way we'll both get A's and nobody knows and everyone wins. No, 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 just no. Don't even joke about you two switching places. It's not funny. Sure it is. All right, that's enough. Both of you up to your rooms. But we haven't even finished eating. Don't worry, you'll live. Moments later. Whoa, that was really weird. Yeah, what is up with mom? I don't know, but I agree with you. Switching places for the test is an awesome idea. See, I told you so. I don't know why mom freaked out so much about it. Yeah, who knows? That just means we can't tell her. You really think we can get away with switching places on our own mother? Well, it doesn't hurt to try. Since you were blue every day and I were pink every day, we'll just switch clothes and go see each other's classes. It's easy peasy, as long as we switch back before we get home. All right, let's do this. The next morning. Here you go, girls. Make it a great day. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, thanks, Mom. So, Isabel, you ready for your Spanish test? I am. Sure thing. Uh, adios, Mama. Uh, see what happens when you study. All right, go have a great day. Meanwhile. All right, everyone. Are you all ready for your test? Or shall I say your L examen? Si, senor. Alrighty, before we get started, I'm just gonna do a quick roll call real quick. Alright, Isabel. Isabel? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, I'm here. I'm Isabel. Very good. Now, moving on. Later that same evening. So, girls, how are your tests? Fantastic, Mom. You'll be so happy. I got an A. An A? Well, good for you, Annabelle. I Two. Two A's? Well, this calls for ice cream. I couldn't be happier. Well, you probably could be once we tell you. Annabelle, no! But it's over with. What can she do? Huh? Tell me what? That for the test, we kind of switch places. You did what? You never switch places. How did I not notice? Guys, if we're really good at it. We'll never, ever again do that. I don't see why it's that big of a deal, Mom. It's a very big deal. Why? Why? Oh, I'll tell you why. I may have mixed you guys up when you were babies, and I couldn't figure out who was who. Wait, what? All right, good night, Zoe. You had your good night kiss, you had your story, and you had your last glass of water before bed. I say you're pretty ready for some shut-eye, kiddo. Mommy, I'm not tired. Yeah, but that doesn't really have to do with it. Just close your eyes, and once they're closed, you should feel nice and tired. I know that always works for Mommy. Can you stay and lay with me until I fall asleep? I don't know. I've got a lot of things to do, Zoe. Please, please, please. Oh, come on. How could I say no to that? Will you snuggle me for a little bit? Zoe, I am snuggling you. Good. I like that. I like it too, Zoe. But do you think you'll promise me something? What's that, Mommy? I know you like snuggling me now, but do you promise you'll still like it when you're a teenager? Yeah. Really? You promise you'll always be my little girl no matter how big you get? I can't keep promise. Good. I believe you. Now, come on. Let's go to sleep. Ten years later. Oh, you're ruining my life! Am I ruining your life? All I did was ask how your day was. And I couldn't even get a response. Well, maybe that's because it's none of your business. How is it none of my business? I'm your mother. No, you're my smother is what you are. All you ever do is hound me and get in my business. I wish you would just butt out. Well, guess what? Your business is my business. And it's my business to make sure your business, like school, chores, and homework, are getting done. Don't say business so many times in a row, Mom. It's like really lame. Did 
something happened to you at school? Is that why you're so upset? For the last time, stop asking me about my personal life! A few moments later... Thanks for meeting me, Sky. I really needed to get out of the house. Yeah, I'll say. You sounded super stressed. What's going on? It's Zoe. She was a little princess when she was younger, but man... I swear, ever since she's turned 13, there's been a demon in there. It's like it took my little girl and I replaced her with this frothing evil monster. Aww, I just love the way parents describe their kids. It's so heartwarming. It makes me want to have kids so bad. <laughs> Knock it off. Come on, you know I'm hurting here. Yeah, clearly. Here we are and you haven't even taken a sip of your coffee yet. That's deep pain if I've ever seen it. Sky, do you remember how sweet she used to be? Now I'm just like her greatest enemy in the whole world. The one who buys her food and clothes. Clearly, I'm a monster. Yeah, you're the worst, girly. I just really wish I knew what she was up to. That's what I worry about kids these days. Who knows what they're doing? I just want to make sure she's safe out there in this big, scary world. Oh my god, you're such a mom. If you're that worried, girly, just try. Her. Track her? Like a microchip in her head? No, geez, she's not a dog. Track her phone. Literally, anyone can do it. And you pay the phone bill, so it's not like she's ever needs to know. Oh my gosh, that is so wrong. What's next? Reading her texts and emails? It's a complete betrayal of her trust, Sky. It's just wrong. Well, it's only wrong if she has something to hide. And if she does, you're her mom, and you deserve to know that. Uh, I don't know. Look, I don't think you're gonna find anything. So he is a good kid, but at least if you track her phone, you don't need to ask her where she is all the time, because then you'll always know. It is still considered spying. Just think about it. If there's ever a rare moment when Joey isn't glued to her phone, think about getting on there and just sharing her location with you. Then, there it is. Instant peace of mind. You really think so? Let's put it this way, girly. By the time I get around to having kids, they're all gonna have microchips in their head. Later that same evening. <laughs> She is so cute when she's asleep. I don't know what happens when she wakes up. It's hard to believe that this same girl in this same bed used to lay right next to me and beg me for some cuddles. And then promise she'd always be my little girl. Liar. <gasps> Oh gosh, look, there's her phone. No, 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 don't do it, Kenzie. Don't swoop to the level of spying on your one and only daughter. But on the other hand, Sky does have a point. What if she's involved with some people who aren't good news? What if she got hurt? What if she's planning on ditching school? I mean, I guess if I did put a tracker on her, I wouldn't have to follow her so carefully. Okay, let me just take that right out of her hands. Uh, this is one of those defying moments as a parent. What do I do? What do I do? No, I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. My child, I am now officially spying on you. The next day. Morning, honey. Uh, what's going on? Why are you being weird? Being weird? All I said was good morning. Yeah, but you're weird about how you said it. I guess someone woke up on the paranoid side of the bed this morning. No questions about where I'm going or what I'm doing or what my plans are? No, since it's the morning, I'm assuming that you're going to school. So there's really no need to question you. You're a big girl. I can trust that you can get there on your own. Uh-huh. And no questions about what I'm doing after school? Nope. I trust you, honey. Yeah, something is fishy to me. But because I trust you, something has to be fishy? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, well, be that as it may. You go off to school and I'll just be here minding my own business. Because like I said, I trust you. Okay, then. I'll see you after school. Oh, uh, what time you're going to be home? Uh, actually, never mind. I trust you. Cool. Okay, mama. See you later. Trust you to fall right into my trap, you little sneak. Okay, let's go see where she's off to. Okay, well, so far you're headed in the direction of school. That's good. Now, let's see where you end up after school. One hour later. Hey, girly. Oh, hey, Sky. Uh, you're going to pay for those, right? Yes, I am, Mom. You can be so lame. Yeah, I've got to hear that enough from Zoe. Speaking of which, update me. Is there anything you want to spy? I mean, say? You are not subtle in the least. Well, that really tracks. Okay, that sounded a lot funnier in my head. So, uh, did you do it? Did I do what? Betray my daughter's trust? Yeah, did you? Did you? Okay, fine. I did it. She was sleeping last night, and she looked so cute and peaceful. And it just reminded me how innocent she used to be. And not the little monster that she's now turned into. So, yeah, I took her phone, and I shared the location with me. And how do you feel? Besides racked with guilt about spying on my only child? Yeah, I'm not picking up a lot of guilt in your voice. I feel great. I swear, Sky. I don't know why I didn't do this like years ago. I don't have to nag her. I don't have to harass her. I don't have to invade her space. All I have to do is open an app on my phone and boom, I found her. Wow, living life through technology sure is nice, isn't it? You have no idea. Here, check this out. All I have to do is look right here and there. Zoe is safe and sound at school. Or at least your phone is. That's just the phone's location. 
attention, not Zoe's. Wait, what? Pudge's messing with you, girly. She's a teenager. She's never gonna let her phone out of her sight. It's like a lifeline. Gosh, this guy, don't scare me like that. Curly, you seriously need to calm down. You have kids and then tell me to calm down. Meanwhile. Hey, honey. Oh, hey, Mom. Did you have a good day? Yeah, it was fine. Oh, uh, are you going out later? Yeah, I'm going out with Ava. I'm gonna be home later. Okay, have fun. Your curfew is... Actually, you know what? Never mind. You know what time it is. Just go and have a good time. Wow, uh, thanks, Mom. We will. Okay, let's see what that little Ava gets up to on the weekends. I'm sure it's all perfectly wholesome and fun. A few moments later. Okay, girly. I'm here. I'm here. I had to jump out of my nightly lush bath to get here, but I'm here. What's the big emergency? You didn't have time to put clothes on? I'm here, aren't I? Now what's going on? Do you have any idea where Zoe is? Wait, I'm sorry. That is the big emergency? You dragged me here out of my bubble bath because of an app that shows you where she is? Meaning you don't even have to call me about it? Listen, Sky. everything was fine at first. Ava and her were getting ice cream, but now her location shows that she's between the ice cream shop and the nail salon. In between the ice cream shop and the nail salon? That would be... <gasps> Club Brooks! Exactly! Okay, calm down! Calm down! Don't tell me to calm down! Oh, why did I ever trust her? No wonder why she's out running wild! She's got a mother who trusts her! You are not supposed to trust teenagers! Okay, just stop for a second before you jump to any conclusions! Just stop and think maybe there's a perfectly good explanation as to why she's there! Like, maybe she dropped her phone at the club on the way to get ice cream and she's really been at the ice cream shop the whole time! Really? Is that the best you got at 8 p.m.? Oh, come on. She's got a lax mother who has basically served her freedom on a silver platter. Of course she went out to the club. I take my foot off the breaker for like a second and she's off running around like a wild child. So what do you want to do? Go down there, embarrass her in front of all of her friends and bust her for going to a club on a school night? Well, if it was your kid, what would you do? Let me just borrow a change of clothes from you and then we'll haul her little booty out there. Meanwhile. Are you sure your mom won't mind me coming over? Nah, she'll be fine with it. Come on in. As long as I'm home by my curfew, which I am, and besides, we can just ask her, uh, Mom, Mom, is it okay if Ava stays for dinner? Huh, that's weird. I don't really know where my mom is. Weird, does she usually disappear in the middle of the night? Well, no, not exactly, but it's fine. I can just track her and find out where she is. Girl, you spy on your mom? Well, yeah, I do. Someone needs to keep an eye on her. You can't expect parents to watch themselves. I shared her location with myself one night. I can't have her just sneaking up on me. I need to be warned. Wow, good thinking. Let's see, let's see. It shows that my mom is perfectly safe at... <gasps> club Brooks? What? Why do you think your mom is at a club? This is so typical of her. She's always on my butt about being responsible. And now she's out at a club on a school night. Come on, let's go get her and bust a few moments later. Okay, do you see anything? Any sign of Zoe or any other young kids who shouldn't be in here? Uh, no. Sky, Sky, what are you doing? What? If we're already here, we might as well dance. <gasps> Mom? Oh, Zoe, thank God. I was so worried. You are in so much trouble, young lady. I'm in trouble? For what? What are you doing here? Okay, on the count of three, just say it. I tracked your phone and followed you here. Uh, maybe it's best if you two talk outside. Meanwhile. I can't believe you thought well, I'm sorry, Zoe. That's where your phone said you were. Clearly, it's a piece of junk and not that accurate. Well, it's kind of accurate because I found you here. Yeah, speaking of that, why are you tracking me? I don't know. I just like to know where you are, but you have no right to invade my privacy and track me. Well, maybe I had no choice because you never let me in. You never tell me what's going on. I'm always left in the dark. I guess I never thought about it that way. I'm really sorry, Mom. I just miss the little girl you always used to be and how you always loved to cuddle. So, does this mean you're gonna take the tracker off of my phone? Oh, we both know it does. Ugh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Why is this taking forever? Ugh, results for a pregnancy test can take up to two minutes? Well, that's stupid. I've been waiting my whole life to be a mom, and now I have to wait another two minutes? How can I even stand this? I just want to know so bad. I mean, this really would be the perfect time for me, for Josh, for everyone. He's been wanting a baby for a while, and this would literally be the best surprise in the world. If only this darn test would come back already. Hmm. Maybe it's a faulty test, or maybe I'm just not being patient. Maybe I'll just take a seat until it's ready. <gasps> okay, okay, the moment of truth. What is it? Okay, two lines is pregnant, and one line is not pregnant. I see one line, but 
Is that? It's super faint. But is that a second line? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I am gonna be a mom. Josh is gonna be a dad. <gasps> Sky is gonna be an aunt. I gotta tell her right away. She is gonna be so, so happy. I can't believe it. I can't wait to tell her the look on her face when I tell her I'm pregnant. Meanwhile. Okay, the timer is set for three minutes. Three minutes until I know for sure if I'm pregnant or not. Oh, I can't believe this. I may be a mom. No, no, Sky, don't let yourself get too excited yet. Yeah, it might not be true. Yeah, I mean, I might just be super tired for another reason. Although, that would be really, really fun. No, you can't let yourself get too excited in case it's not true. <laughs> okay, let's see what it says. Oh my god. It says it's positive. Positive is good, right? Yes, yes, positive is good. Oh my gosh. I'm actually gonna be a mom. This means Mackenzie is gonna be an aunt. <gasps> wait any longer this is gonna be the best thing that's ever happened several days later oh what is taking her so long having to keep this to myself for two whole days is killing me i swear if i have to wait another day then i'm gonna be explode and then there's not gonna be any news to tell anyone because i'm gonna be dead yeah actually i hope that doesn't happen now that i say it out loud hi girly hey it's about time you got here what took you so long what took me so long you said they were meeting at two and it's one I know, I'm just, uh, happy to see you. Oh, well, I'm happy to see you, too. <laughs> so, uh, what's been going on with you? Oh, you know, uh, nothing much. Just the usual, uh, what's been going on with you, Josh good? Good, good. Yeah, Josh is good. Everything is good. Good! Actually, there is something I really wanted to tell you. Something pretty big, and it's gonna make you really happy. Oh, really? Well, uh, that's great, because I have something to tell you, too. And I think you're really gonna freak out. Oh, wow, I didn't realize you had big news, too. Did you get a promotion at work or a new house or something? Nope, nothing like that. You? Nope, me neither. Something a little different. Yeah, same, but it's really exciting, though. I can't wait to tell you. Okay, this is getting really exciting. We obviously both have some really big news to tell each other. And I'm sure what you have to tell me is is nothing like what I'm about to tell you. Oh, yeah, I'm sure of it. There is no way. Mine is pretty out there. Okay, so on the count of three, let's just tell each other, okay? Okay, okay, I can't wait. Me neither. Okay, three, two, one. I'm pregnant! <gasps> what? Oh, my gosh, are you girls okay? You just dropped plates all over the ground. No way. There's no way. I was excited to meet you an aunt and tell you the good news. Yeah, me too. I was gonna get a shirt printed up for you, but I was too excited to wait. Oh, you were? Well, that's sweet. I was gonna get you a mug that said world's best aunt, but I was too excited to wait. Aw, I would've liked that. Okay, well, how are we gonna do this, guy? with one of us being pregnant? That is crazy enough. How are we gonna handle both of us? I don't know. I wasn't sure it was possible for best friends to be pregnant at the same time. We could always pull all these responsibilities on the boys. Face it, we're basically like having twins. That means double of everything. And if we both just found out, that means our babies will be born at the same time. <gasps> What if they can't be there for each other? I can't have a baby without my best friend being there. Okay, don't panic, because that will just make me panic. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'm sure we will. I'm sure this happens, like, all the time. Really? Because I'm not so sure. I mean, I was kind of depending on you to talk me through this whole thing, but, uh, you know, we can still both be pregnant and take care of ourselves and have each other. How? If I'm too big and immobile to do anything, how am I going to be there for you? Face it, we're both going to be down for the count. I solution. We get mechanical arms that we can control with a remote so we can still get stuff off the floor when we can't bend over. That's your best solution? What? Do you have a better one? No, I guess I'm just in shock, that's all. I always figured that when I would get tired and exhausted from the baby, I would just pawn it on you. Oh man, I thought the same thing. I guess in a way though, this is kind of sort of pretty awesome. How do you figure? I don't see how any of this is going to be awesome. For one, we dropped all of our plates all over the floor and no one needs and brought us more food. Yeah, that's not really what I'm talking about. But think about it, Sky. We are having babies at the same time. Yeah, I know. That's why we've been freaking out. No, but I was missing it before. That's not a reason we should be freaking out. In fact, I think that's like the best thing that could ever happen. Do you know how many people 
dream about being pregnant at the same time as their best friend? No, but seriously, they can have it happen to them, and then we won't have to worry about it. I was wrong to freak out before. This is gonna be great. We are gonna get experience everything together. We'll get to freak out about everything together, and we'll know exactly what the other one is going through. And that's not even the best part. Okay, well, don't leave me hanging, girly. Our babies are gonna be best friends, just like us. They are literally gonna grow up together. Wow, I guess I didn't really think about it like that. Yeah, I didn't either. And I know we were both freaked out about it like 30 seconds ago. But this is gonna be a good thing. I can feel it. Six months later. Early. Uh, did you say something? Yeah, I've been saying your name for like five minutes. Well, then why don't you just shove me and get my attention on this side of the couch? Because that would require moving. Didn't you say Josh was supposed to come bring us snacks? He never showed up. Guy, Josh is at work. Really? Since when? Um, since like 8 o'clock this morning. If he's at work, who's supposed to be taking care of us? Um, each other. And whoever thought that was a good idea? Where's the mechanical arm? I want to try it and reach something I dropped on the floor. We never ordered a mechanical arm. What? Why didn't we do that? I thought that was like the number one thing on the list. Now how are we supposed to pick that up? At this point, we just wait until the babies are old enough to crawl and then they can go and get it. This stinks. I thought you said being pregnant at the same time was supposed to be fun. I don't know about you, but I am not having much fun sitting here like a lump who can't even get up. Okay, that's it. No more feeling sorry for ourselves. Why? I kind of like feeling sorry for myself. Yeah, well, it's not helping anyone and it's starting to get a little old. Come on, let's go and do something productive. You mean stand up? Yeah, I mean, we've been talking about trying to find a good daycare, so come on. We've got nothing else to do, so let's go do that. Now, come on, up on the count of three. One, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, well, that was a fail. I'll keep trying, girly. I don't give up. Yeah, well, we can keep trying till the cows come home, but I don't think we're going anywhere. I guess you were right. At least we have each other to commiserate with. I wouldn't want to go through this with anyone else. A few moments later. Do you think we need to mention that it took us over an hour just to get off the couch and put our shoes on? Look at me, Sky. Nobody ever has to know. Know what? Exactly. We're taking that one to the grave. Okay, come on. Let's go. Whoa! It's like a school for babies or a small baby army. The infantry. Get it, girly? Infant? Yes, guy. I got it. I think the babies will like coming here, though. How are we supposed to know exactly what they like? We don't even know anything about them yet. I don't know. Mother's intuition comes to mind. If we like it, they should sense it and like it, too. Why? Do you like what your mom likes? No, but my mom doesn't have the best taste. Mine is much better. Um, excuse me, uh, ma'am. Can we ask you a couple of questions? Um, excuse me, Tina? See that she's helping someone? Oh my god. Hey, we know you guys from high school. Look, we're all having babies together. I think I had a nightmare about this one. Ew, Ayla, don't talk to them. They're losers, remember? Breeding a new generation of losers. I am so confused. How does this even happen? Well, Ashley got pregnant and said that I had to too, so our babies would have someone to grow up with, or we couldn't be friends anymore. Ah, I see. Nice to see that you've changed. Ashley. On second thought, I don't know if I want my babies going here if their freak babies are going here too. Many months later. Hi, baby Zoe. I'm your mom. Oh my gosh, you are the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. You are literally perfect. And the only thing that would make this even more perfect is if your Auntie Sky was going to be here with us. <gasps> Sky? Hey, girly. I saw that you were admitted to the hospital, so I told the doctor to transfer me to your room so we could be together. Oh, my gosh. Sky, you had your baby, too. Yeah, this is Luca. Oh, my God. Are they going to be birthday twins? I think so. This is my baby, Zoe. Are you sure you guys are okay with sharing this tiny room together? Of course. This is my best friend. Who else would I want to share a room with? You know what this means, girly. Best future double birthday. Several days later. Well, you were right. I'll give it to you, girly. This was the best idea ever. I love that we had babies at the same time. Look at them. They're already best friends. Well, I mean, I don't know about that. They both just learned how to open their eyes. But at least they're not crying at each other. Who knows? Maybe one day they'll even get married. Ugh, kill me now. Um, 
Um, I'd rather not. What's up? Do you know that there are legit no good guys on Brookhaven's dating app? Well, honey, it's Brookhaven. It's not exactly a big town to have a dating app. It's totally not the point, Mom. How am I ever supposed to get married if I can't even meet someone? How about you try meeting someone in person? Remember, Zoe, getting married isn't the overall goal. There's still your career, being happy. I mean, lots of other things that are more important. Ew, you sound so old, Mom. It's also breaking your mom's spirit. Sorry, Mom. I'm just frustrated. I want to meet someone. It just feels like it'll never happen. Well, I think step one is to get off your phone and meet someone in the real world. I know that might be awfully scary to your generation, but you should at least give it a try. Do you always have to bring my generation into it? Uh, Zoe, where did the six-pack of the Coca-Colas that I put on the counter go? Uh oh, whoopsies. Zoe, you know the rule. If you drink something, you need to replace it, or at least tell me so I can replace it. Sorry, Mom. It's just Coke went really good with the Netflix marathon that I was watching. Oh, I'm sure it did. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and grab some more sodas for us. Okay, bye. Mom, have fun. Meanwhile. Oh, shoot. That's right. I need to grab the grocery list. Okay, let me run right inside. Whoa! Hey, watch where you're going, you dumb dweeb. Ugh, entitled people these days. A few moments later. Hello there, ma'am. May I interest you in a business opportunity? I'm sorry, sir. I'm really not interested. I'm just here to buy some soda. Call me Joseph, and I promise this will only take a moment of your time. I mean, I guess, but I'm not looking to buy any teddy bears. My daughter is all grown up. Ah, that is just the catch. This is not just a teddy bear. Um, unless I learned my animals wrong in kindergarten, that is a teddy bear. Might be a bear, but I assure you it's not a toy for kids. Let me explain. This right here is a great business opportunity. Business opportunity? Well, this may look like a bear. It's not a toy at all. They are my newest invention. As an inventor, I designed these special artificial intelligence teddy bears. They're like robots, but better because they are cute and cuddly. Uh, do you mean like Chucky dolls? Those things coming to life didn't end well for anyone. There's a few movies out there to point that out. Oh, not like the Chucky dolls. Well, actually, maybe a little. But anyways, the bear answers commands like an animal. Android. Pretty soon, they're gonna be all over Brookhaven. Okay, that might cheer Zoe up. She's a little down. How much for one? That's just it. I'm not looking to sell one bear. I'm looking to have someone invest in my new company. Okay, how much? I've been looking for a new investment anyways. Only about a million dollars. A million dollars? Are you insane? Wow, I think I almost just passed out. I do not have that kind of money. Well, uh, how much do you have? Whatever you give me is sure doable in the next few days as we get more bears out there. Uh, this is all I've got. Hmm, that'll do. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna make this money back, right? Of course you will. Once I start selling these bears all over Brookhaven, you will triple what you invested. Guaranteed. Wow, sounds great. Pleasure doing business with you. Huh? Maybe I'm losing it, because I could have sworn that car almost hit me earlier. Nah, probably just a coincidence. I mean, he seemed like an honest businessman. Anyways, I need to get some sodas. Several days later. Uh, it was a great idea to put a second hidden fridge in my room. Zoe likes to drink my sodas and never replace them. Where is that girl anyways? Zoe! Huh, I guess she's not here. Huh, an email from the bank. I don't know if this is a good email or not, but it's best to leave it unopened, especially when it's from the bank. <gasps> Where did all my money go? All my accounts have been emptied. How did this happen? No, 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 this cannot be right. Uh, at least I have all that money from Joseph coming in soon. Jeez, I better run down there. A few moments later. Excuse me, Mr. Bankman, sir. I'm sorry, but this is an emergency. What's going on? I'm happy to help. I mean, I work at the bank. There really isn't much else for me to do. I hope this is a mistake, but I got an email from you guys basically saying that I have no money now and I'm basically broke. Let me see here. Let me pull up your information and we'll find out what's going on. That does sound like a bit of a pickle that you're in. By the calmness of your voice, I'm gonna say that you don't realize how big of a pickle it really is. Hmm, I'm really sorry, Mackenzie, but I'm afraid you are correct. It looks like you have been scammed. Have you given any money or information to anybody lately? No, not at all. I recently invested in something new, but it was totally legit and I'm gonna make all my money back. I'm, I'm sorry, but it seems to me some sort of AI has hacked in and stole all of your money. Without knowing who, though, it's gonna be hard for me to get it back for you. Oh, no, 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 this cannot be happening. Later that same evening. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna afford this house? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna wait until Zoe comes home and then I'll figure out the rest then. For now, let me just watch some of the news. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Many sources claim that a man is going around and stealing locals' money in a new scheme. This sus 
expecting questions supposedly is conning people with his fake artificial intelligence teddy bears. Wait, what? Oh my god, I've got to turn this up. The identity of the man is still unknown, but he has taken money from many Brookhaven residents. He asks locals to invest in his new AI teddy bears, and once he has their money and information, he wipes out their bank account. No, 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 this cannot be happening. If you have any information on this criminal, please contact the local police immediately. There will be a cash reward for his capture. We urge those watching now to not buy any more teddy bears and just pray that this con artist is soon brought to justice. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. No, 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 no. How could I have not known that he was a criminal? An AI teddy bear. Oh, Mackenzie, who falls for that? It's okay, it's okay. I just need to turn him into the police. Darn it, what's his last name though? Why do I want to say Joseph Bear? Hey, Mom. Hey, Zoe, it's really not a good time right now. Oh, but Mom, I think I have something that is really going to cheer you up. Like big news. Well, some good news might be nice right now. Okay, honey, what's up? Well, you know how I was super panicked about guys the other day and how I'll never find someone? Well, we can put all that worrying aside because I'm in love. Wow, honey, that's fantastic. I'm really happy for you. But honestly, I'm kind of dealing with a little crisis myself here right now. No, Mom, you don't understand. He's the perfect businessman and he's here now. You have to meet him. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if he's already here. I'm in, my love. Joseph? Soda buying lady? Aw, how nice. You two already know each other? Um, yeah, I, um, uh, okay, I might pass out. I know what you mean, Mom. I literally cannot believe it either. Isn't it just wonderful? And it's gonna get even better because Joseph and I are getting married. Married? Uh -huh. Zoe, can I speak to you in the other room privately for a moment? Meanwhile. You know, Mom, anything you say to me, you can say in front of my fiance. Yeah, that's just the thing. Joseph is the man who stole all of my money, Zoe. He's a con man. You can't marry him. He's a really bad guy. And because of him, I'm going to be homeless. But Mom, you are so dramatic. Are you sure he's even the same guy? Because Joseph is a businessman. Yes, and he was all over the news this morning. I'm sure of it. He got me with his AI teddy bears. AI teddy bears? That is so dumb. Who would fall for that? It's not the point. You cannot marry him. Ugh, Mom, you just never want me to be happy. You want me to be alone forever so I can live here with you and never leave. No, no, Zoe, that's not true. I just don't want you to marry someone who has stolen money from half the people in Brookhaven. You wouldn't approve of any guy. Joseph is no different. And I don't know where you got this AI teddy bear story, but you sound crazy. It's not a story. It's true. They're like Chucky dolls, but bears. You're crazy. We are so out of here. Several days later. Do you, Joseph, take Zoe to be your wife? I do. And do you, Zoe, take Joseph to be your husband? I so do, no matter what anybody says, honey. Then, by the power vested in me by the town of Brookhaven, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Sweetie, why did you just evil laugh? Oh, no reason, dear. One eternity later. Well, to get heat without paying for electricity. Unless maybe Joseph is gonna come around and take all my firewood too. Wow, to think just a few months ago I was living in a house. Now this is all because of a dumb teddy bear. Mom, can we talk? Zoe, what are you doing here? I thought you didn't want anything to do with me. Very Joseph, remember? Oh, Mom, I made a horrible mistake. You were right all along. Whoa, whoa, honey, no, calm down. You don't need to cry. Now, why don't you go back to the part where I was right? Because I love hearing that. Mom, you are right, okay? I had Joseph is crazy. He's a crazy army of killer robot teddy bears that have taken over the house and he wants to take over all of Brookhaven. Well, why don't you divorce him? I'm trying, but he tells me that if I do, it will turn all the killer teddy bears against me and I don't want angry AIs coming after me, Mom. Okay, okay, we need to think. There's got to be a way to get out of this. No, there isn't. I'm doomed and it's all because I didn't listen to you. Well, as important as listening to your mother is, I have a plan. Back when they came out with Joseph on the news, they said that anyone who has information on him to report it to the police. Now, once he's in custody, you can demand a divorce. And then I can collect a cash reward for his capture. Wow, Mom, you really are a genius. Do you really think it'll work? Well, there's only one way to find out. Now, come on, we've got to act fast. You're right. Before you can do this to anyone else. Well, that, and I'm tired of sleeping in the woods. Moments later. Please wait. What? You're not even doing anything. You're playing on your phone, and this is an emergency. Alrighty then, how can I help you? The man who called to all the people in Brookhaven. I know who he is. There! The little whippersnapper cost me millions. Not so fast. We're gonna need a cash reward. And for you to make him sign divorce papers. 
Meanwhile, what a beautiful day it is, and it'll be even more beautiful when the town is mine. <laughs> Stay where you are, you're under arrest. Oopsies. Later that same evening. Man, it is nice to get my house back after all those months. Tell me about it. Living with Joseph and his army of bears was getting old. Look, I'm really sorry, Mom. For? For not listening to you, and also for not warning you about Joseph. It's okay, honey. What matters now is that it's all behind us. Kill Zoe and her mom. Kill Zoe and her mom. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Morning, Zoe. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing in here. Are you? Cooking? Yeah. I made you some bacon, eggs, and pancakes with real maple syrup. Well, I didn't make the syrup, but that's what it says in the bottle. So I'm guessing it's legit. Wow, that is so sweet of you. You know, usually the mom cooks for the kids. I know, but I wanted to do something nice for you. You're the best mom ever, and you deserve it. Uh-huh. Sit down. After you eat, I'll play you the song that I wrote for you, too. Okay, now I'm officially wondering what is going on. Are you in big trouble? No, why would you ask that? Because not only are you awake first thing in the morning without me having to drag you out of bed by the ankles, but you made breakfast and you wrote me a song. Okay, fine. So, Zoe, what do you want? It's not that I specifically want something. Zoe, if I don't know what it is, I can't get it for you. I said fine. So, everyone at school has been collecting squishmallows and I thought it would be cool if I started doing it too. Well, are you doing it because everyone else is or because you like them and want to start collecting them? Uh, whatever answer will get you to say yes. Okay, well, just because it's a stuffed animal, I'm sure we could get you one. Yay! Yay! I was right. You are the best mommy ever. Now that you said yes, do you think that you can make me breakfast? I'm not a real fan of my own cooking. The next day... Conversation. Well, I don't know how private it is if it's in class and in front of everybody. What did your mom buy you? Oh, um, well, hello. Can't you see what I'm wearing? I got the new Squishmallow. I think this one is exclusive. Oh, cool. Didn't you say that I should get a Squishmallow and that's what's in right now? Well, they were yesterday, but we've moved on to something else. Oh, you did? But nobody told me. You gotta keep up with the times, Zoe. Things are always changing. So, what are you guys playing with now? We're all gamers. It's the coolest thing to do now. Literally everyone is doing it. My parents already got me the new Nintendo Switch, and I've played it nonstop. Oh, is that what everyone's playing with now? Yeah. Well, everyone knows that gamers are the cool kids to be. And if you want to be a gamer, then obviously you're gonna have to have some device, like a Switch or a PS4. Oh, you mean like a Nintendo? I think my mom has the DS from when she was a little girl. Ew, that's like your grandma toy now from like a hundred years ago. No, Zoe, you need to get the new one. Everyone has it. Okay, so basically I have to be a gamer girl if I want to fit in? Pretty much. It's working for us at least. No problem then. I'll just become a gamer. I mean, how hard can it be? Later that same evening. Wow, this is nice. Having someone make my breakfast this morning. Zoe's actually a really good cook. I wonder if I could get her to make dinner too. Nah, better not push it. Not wanting to cook for my kid could be seen as lazy parenting. Hey, Mom! Oh, hi, honey! How was school? Let me guess, did everyone notice your new Squishmallow? Nah, Squishmallows aren't what everyone is playing with right now. Wait a minute, you nearly begged me to get one yesterday. What happened? Well, that was yesterday. Now I want to be like a gamer. A gamer? What does that even mean? You want to, like, play games? I think I've got, like, Connect 4 and Sorry downstairs in the garage somewhere. I can go get them for you. No, Mom, not lame old people games. Gamer games. Like on a Switch or PlayStation. PCs and Xboxes are really into right now. So we better head to Best Buy. Is our Best Buy here in Brookhaven? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Since when did you want to be a gamer? Since always. I just never had the right equipment. Yeah, right. Last week you wanted to be a cowgirl and the week before that a visco girl. Honey, I'm happy that you're expanding your horizons and discovering yourself, but what keeps changing? Nothing really. It's just last week my friends thought I was cool for one to be a visco girl and now you're not cool if you're not a gamer that's all oh i get it you know you're kind of going down a slippery slope with friends like that what do you mean well friends that only like you to do something when everyone else is doing it and not because you like it they aren't real friends they're just followers no mom they are my friends you don't get it and i really think gaming might be for me i thought about it the entire way home from school i want to be a gamer please well what about collecting squishmallows no i think gaming is more my speed and i promise i'm not gonna change my mind again can i please turn my room into a gaming room and get an xbox or something <sighs> if i say yes then you have to promise
promised me that gaming is not gonna interfere with your schoolwork. You've got a big midterm coming up, and I'm fine with you trying something new, as long as you can handle being a gamer and a student. You are the best, Mom! I love you so much! Don't worry, gaming isn't addictive or anything, so you have nothing to worry about. I'll only be a gamer one hour a day, and the rest of the time I'll do homework. I promise! Alrighty then, I'm gonna hold you to that. Two weeks later. Wow! a lot in two weeks. Who knows? Maybe after I'm done with gaming, I'll go on to home renovations. No, Joey, no. You're gonna do what mom says and stick to one thing. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna play a little bit of Among Us and maybe some Animal Crossing with my friends. And then I'll study for my midterms the rest of the night. Hi there. Wow, your room looks 110% different. Are you sure this is the same room? Yes, mom. It's the same room. I just switched it up a little bit. I think it looks more mature now. Now, don't you? I think it looks like a video game store exploded, but to each is their own. Ugh, Mom, you just don't like it because I'm branching out and not acting like a little girl anymore. You have to face it. I am growing up. Hey, I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying it's different. Uh, by the way, how much should all of this gaming equipment cost you? It's a small investment to become a gamer. You can't be a gamer without, well, you know, games. I see that you are very well caught up on your games. So how's studying for the midterms going? If I'm not mistaken, the test is tomorrow. Don't worry, I've got everything under control. Oh, I'm not worrying. I'm just pointing out that you have a big test tomorrow. And I don't see as many books as I see gaming contraptions or whatever you kids call them. Oh my god, mom. When did you get so old? What did you used to ride a dinosaur to school or something? Don't worry, I have plenty of time. More than plenty of time. I'm just gonna play Among Us for like half an hour and then I have the rest of the night to study. Okay then, I guess if you have everything under control then there is no reason for me to be up here bothering you. I'm gonna go off to bed now and let me know if you need me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good night, Mom. Okay, bye. Many hours later. Wow, I cannot believe I've never played Among Us before. And to think we played for that long? Hold up, what time is it anyways? <gasps> Meanwhile. Okay, okay, you got this. College students pull all-nighters all the time. It's good practice, really. Okay, so you just gotta open the book, read everything, and keep it in your head. And probably talk a heck of a lot softer so mom doesn't wake up. Okay, how to find the slope of a line. Easy, I know this. The slope is calculated by finding the ratio between the vertical change and a horizontal change. Ah, uh, no. Stay awake, Zoe. Maybe I can run downstairs and make a quick cup of coffee. Wait, never mind. I'm not old enough to drink coffee. Uh, it's okay, Zoe. You got this. Uh, okay, so I need to find the steepness of a line and... <sighs> the next morning. Good morning, honey. Rise and shine. Uh... Oh, Zoe, look. You. Did you study all night? I know I said I didn't want you to become a gamer, but clearly you can handle it better than I thought you could. I am so sorry I ever doubted you as my wonderful daughter. Uh, yeah, the math book. I was totally studying and stuff. Well, I seriously underestimated you, but I will not make that mistake again, honey. You really are growing up. Ha ha ha! Yeah, that's me, all grown up, yep. Well, I will let you go and get ready for school now. I am in big, big trouble. Moments later. Not studying for the midterm is bad enough. Being late is a whole other thing. Hey, I had fun playing Among Us last night. Yeah, I had fun too. A little too much fun because I didn't study at all. Eh, it's no big deal. It's just a dumb midterm. I think we may have very different opinions on that. Okay, everyone, please put your phones away and pick up your number two only pencils. We are about to begin our midterms. One hour later. Phew! Okay, maybe that wasn't as hard as I thought. Who knows? Maybe I absorbed something in those 15 seconds of studying last night. Hey, uh, Zoe, can I have a word with you, please? Katie's gonna congratulate me for doing such a great job. Uh, yeah, Mr. Teacher Man, sir? What's up? Look, Zoe, I am very sorry to tell you this, but I'm afraid you failed the midterm. You did not get one question correct. <gasps> the 
There's no way. Did you study for this test at all? Because it seems like you just put C for everything. And it was wrong every time? I'm afraid that's not how test taking works. Look, I'm not saying it's impossible, but you're gonna have to work really hard if you want to try and pass this class now. Yes, Mr. Teacher Main, sir. I understand. Yep, my mother is gonna kill me. Later that same evening. Hey, Mom. Just about to make you a celebratory dinner. Ooh, what are we feeling? <gasps> How did the test go? Look, Mom, I need to talk to you about something. Uh-oh, you're sitting down. That's not a good sign. What's wrong? I sort of lied to you earlier. I wasn't up studying all night. I was gaming till almost 1 o'clock and then fell asleep on my books before I could get any studying done. I failed the midterm, Mom. <gasps> Zoe, this is what I was afraid of. Things like gaming are fine in small doses, but they can completely take over your time and your life. If you claim to be mature enough to handle them, then you really need to work on your time management. I know, I know, and you were right. I didn't even really want to be a gamer in the first place. I just did it because everyone else did, which I see now isn't a reason to do anything. Well, as long as you learned that, but you are still grounded until you get your grade up. That figures. But hey, don't you want to hear what I'm going to be into next? How long do you think we have until class starts? I don't know, like a few minutes. Why? I was trying to debate if I have long enough to run to my locker, get a snack, and eat it before the teacher comes in. Um, I highly doubt it. How many times does she have to correct you for eating in class? Oh, please. Not being able to eat in class is such a dumb rule. Food is brain power. I think if everyone was allowed to eat while they learn, grades would actually improve. Wow, there's a final paper topic for you. Wait, we have a final paper due? Give me that thing! Hey! Uh, what just happened? Hey, wait, give that back! Ashley, give it back! Not a chance, loser! Ahem, attention, attention, fellow students. Can I have your attention, please? I have a little something that I would like to share with the class. Please, Ashley, don't do this. Quiet, freak! Ahem! Okay, everyone, I hold in my hand a very prized possession that I guarantee Because you're never gonna know when they're gonna need your help. If everyone in the 
world was kind, you'd be surprised how much more would get done. All right, Mom, you said that like a bajillion times. Can I go to school now? Yes, you can go. Love you, Zoe. Love you too, Mom. Bye. Man, I love that kid. I am so glad I stuck to my words after all those years. I would never let my kid become a bully. Meanwhile. All right, Ava, just grab your books quietly and then run to class before the bully. Hey there, Thora. Something, Ava. Do your braces get satellite reception? Just leave me alone, Joey. Give me those. Uh oh, what's wrong, Four Eyes? Give me my glasses back. I can't see without them. Ah. All right, come and get them if you want them. Joey, give them back. Oh no, poor girl can't see. Next time, I'll break them. Just leave me alone. Why do you have to be such a bully? Because it's fun, duh. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here, Mr. Principal Man, sir. Zoe came up to me and stole my glasses and then called me a four-eyed freak. <gasps> Zoe, is that true? Oh, you little tattletale. I'm really going to get you now. Hey, that's quite enough. Both of you in my office. Bye. Now. A few moments later. What was that out there? I thought you two were supposed to be friends. Friends with her? I think not. Well, I'll tell you what, Zoe. I am very disappointed in your behavior. You're to treat your fellow students with respect, and bullying is never the answer. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to call both of your moms. You do know that they were students here when they were your age. Go ahead and call her. My mom will never believe that I could have done something wrong. We'll see about that. Meanwhile... Hello, this is the principal at your daughter's school. I am calling to tell you that I have Zoe in my office right now. Oh no, did something happen to my perfect little Zoe? No, she's fine. If you could just come down to my office as well, please. I'm on my way. A few moments later. What happened? What's going on here, Zoe? Is everything okay? I'm fine, Mom. I'm just confused why my daughter is standing with the principal because she's like the nicest kid ever. <gasps> Has she won a prize? No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> My daughter cry is messing with the wrong mom. Ashley? Mackenzie, is your little brat the one who's been tormenting Ava? Excuse me, a brat? Oh, that's rich, considering how you treated me in middle school. Oh, I remember you too. Ashley, if I recall, you used to bully Mackenzie. Wait, what? Well, I'm afraid things have come full circle because we've had multiple instances of Zoe bullying Ava and making her cry. The latest instance was Zoe making Ava drop her books on the ground and then stealing her glasses. Wait, what? No, there's no way. My daughter would never be a bully. I promise that. I promise that I would never let my daughter be a bully. Nice going. Well, this is awkward. Okay, okay, everyone, just calm down. Because of this, shall I say, rather unusual circumstance that I, in my 40 years of being principal of Brookhaven Middle School, have never seen in my life, I think that, given your kind of weird history, the four of you need to work this out on your own. Are you kidding? Work together with her? I will not. Oh, here we go again. She tormented me all throughout middle school. And her daughter is tormenting me. I said, work it out on your own. Later that same evening. Hey, uh, Mom, are you mad at me? I wouldn't say I'm mad, Zoe, but I am disappointed. What do you mean? Do you know that I was bullied when I was a kid? By Ava's mom. Yeah, you said so today. Well, it was really traumatic. She was horrible to me, Zoe. She would trip me in school, too. She made me cry. She'd steal my phone and read my private text messages in front of the entire class. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it really was awful. And what you're doing to Ava is also awful. Bullying is wrong, and you truly don't know how it feels until someone does it to you. And someone did it to me, so I know how small and insignificant it can make you feel. I never meant to make Ava feel small and insignificant. It's just, I don't know, kind of fun to tease her? Well, it's not fun to her, and it wasn't fun to me. The only thing you're doing when you tease her is making yourself small. What do you mean? I didn't raise you to be a bully. I didn't raise raise a mean daughter. Bullies are just people who are sad and lonely in their own lives. So then they just take it out on other people. But honey, you are not one of those people and you should never ever be one of those people. I did not raise you to be that way. I know, Mom. Then why do you do that to Ava? I don't really know. Well, you better 
better think about it, kiddo, because tomorrow we're meeting Ava and Ashley, and we're gonna work this whole thing out. And knowing Ashley, it won't end until one of us is in tears. So you better rest up. The next day... Ahem, Zoe, uh, why don't you and Ava go over there and play? Us play? Yeah, we've never really played together before or gotten along. Why don't you just try? You might have more in common than you think. Okay, I guess so. I'm in, I guess. Uh, just stay seated there. I do not want your cooties. Really, Ashley? We're not 13 anymore. Okay, I know we didn't like to talk to each other as kids, but we're kind of forced to right now. I do not have anything to say to you. Your little monster is bullying my angel, and for what? Since Ava is a little different because she has glasses and braces, is maybe a little nerdy? That does not give anyone the right to bully her, especially Zoe, just because she thinks she's so popular. Ah, uh, Ashley, is any of this ringing a bell to you? No, why? Maybe because it's exactly what you used to do to me. You bullied me for being nerdy and different. You bullied me for the clothes I wore, the music I liked, the way I did my hair, like everything. You may not remember it to be like that, but at least I can tell my daughter that it's wrong to bully. Because I know exactly how Ava feels. Wow, I really did all that? Yeah, you did. So I know exactly what Ava is going through. And I had a long talk with Zoe about it last night. I never want my daughter to grow up and be like you. Wow, thanks. Okay, I didn't mean it like that, but you know what I'm saying. I'm sorry that Zoe bullied Ava. It's wrong, but it's also no different from what you did to me, which was also wrong. I guess I never thought about it that way. Thank you for telling Zoe that it was wrong. Of course. And in case I never said it, I'm really sorry I bullied you when we were kids. Wow, thanks, Ashley. That means a lot. <laughs> Jeez, what are you two laughing at? Yeah, did you work out your issues? <laughs> what issues? Yeah, we're best friends now. Hi, girly, it's on. Guy, I'm coming. Do you want butter on your popcorn or not? You're missing it. I know I'm missing it, but do you want the popcorn? The magical popcorn fairy isn't just going to bring it to you. Hurry. God, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, girly, no salt. Ugh, that's a choice. Listen, I almost tripped over my own two feet running here in record time. If you don't like it, you can go and get the salt yourself. Yeah, I'm good. All this yelling about it starting and I don't see the video award starting yet. Okay, well, maybe I was just bluffing just to get you over here, but now that you're here, aren't you glad? Because when it starts, you'll be ready. If I had fallen over here and broken a foot, you'd be the one taking me to the hospital. And I am just letting you know that. Hey, girls, what are you doing? Ooh, you look all cozy in your jammies on the couch. Nothing, Mom. The video awards are starting any second now. And we made popcorn for it. We, Sky. We. Kenzie made popcorn for it. I screamed for her to finish up. Sounds fun. So are you watching anything else or just the video awards? Just the video awards. Why? Oh, no reason. I thought maybe I'd watch a little with you guys and we can have a fun little girls night. Ooh, maybe after we even paint our nails. Uh, can someone say something, please? Because I'm not sure what to say. Mom, are you sure you want to hang out with us? I mean, isn't there some, like, mom thing you'd rather be doing, like knitting? Oh, or laundry. My mom does a lot of that. She complains when she's doing it, but she still does it. Yeah, I thought it would be more fun for all of us to hang out. Unless, uh, unless you don't want to watch it with me. Oh, no, 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 Mom. Not at all. I mean, you're welcome to join. Great, thanks. Okay, you girls have to tell me which video to cheer for, okay? Woohoo! Okay, this is gonna be great. Yeah, girly, this is exactly what I had in mind for watching the awards with you and your mom. <sighs> Later that same evening. Well, tonight was a total bust. Oh, well, at least Sky got her popcorn. I better remind her that for next year awards, we're gonna do it at her house. Hey, sweetie, are you going to bed? Yeah, I'm pretty tired. Okay, uh, do you mind if we talk for a second? Sure, yeah, what's up? I'm sorry if I intruded on your night tonight with Sky. Don't worry about it, Mom. We were happy to have you. Were you? Really? Well, it meant a lot to me. I don't know. You're just getting older, and I feel like I don't get to spend as much time with you anymore. Aw, Mom. Well, I'm always here to spend time with you. I'm glad to hear, honey. You are so busy with Sky and school, and I just want to make sure you have time to hang out with your good old mom. Well, don't worry. I do. Even if you have to crash a video award night every once in a while. That's good, because if I didn't have you, I'd just have to adopt a new daughter. I think our house is good as it is without adding anyone new to it. I agree. Now you go get some sleep and thanks again for letting me spend some time with you guys. We'll have to do it again soon. Yeah, sure thing. Good night, Mom. The next day. Sky, hey, Sky, wait up. Oh, hey, hey, girly. Sorry. 
sorry about last night. I know my mom watching with us wasn't exactly the plan. Yeah, talk about a downer. She was so excited to watch it with us. I mean, we are pretty awesome, so I do kind of get it. Would you be that excited to watch something with us? Well, I mean, it is us, so yeah. I don't know. She's on this kick about spending more time with me. It's kind of lame, but hopefully it'll be over soon. Anyways, next year we're watching it at your house. Sounds good. My mom just started a new book club, so she's always in our room reading these mystery books. Wow, that sounds so nice. They're always leaving you alone. Yeah, I am pretty lucky in that respect, I do have to say. God, what I would give for that. Three hours later. So, where do you want to sit, Curly? Uh, is our usual spot okay? You're the boss. Let's do it. Hey, what do you say we maybe go over to your place today? We can have a mom-free viewing the rest of the video awards. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay, Curly, uh, don't move, don't blink. Most importantly, don't freak out. You don't want me to move, blink, or freak out because you're kind of asking a lot from me here, Sky. I'm serious. Do not overreact to what is about to happen. Hey, girls. Mom, what are you doing here? Well, I had a long lunch today and decided to come spend it with my best girl. I was afraid you'd be embarrassed to have your mom here, but after you told me how happy you are to spend time with me last night, I figured I'd take you up on it. I'm sorry. You said what now, girly? Mom, are you serious? This is my school. You just can't be here. Well, I'm not bothering anyone, Mackenzie. I'm just having some lunch with my daughter. I wish parents were allowed every day. Seriously, Mom, I do not want to be rude, but you have to go now. Mackenzie, but I haven't even started eating yet. Oh, brother. Oh, this is too perfect. Look, Ayla, Mackenzie can't get any other friends, so she got her mommy to come and have lunch with her. Yeah, her mommy. Why don't you guys go pick on someone your own size? You mean someone who doesn't have a mommy bodyguard looking out for them? This is just classic. Did she just come to bring you your blankie, Mackenzie? Or is there another reason? You should watch your tongue, young lady. I'm surprised your mother doesn't wash your mouth out with soap. Mom, mom, stop. Oh, wow. Now I see where you get your loser teacher's pet attitude from, Mackenzie. It's your mommy. Ah! A few moments later. Honey, honey, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to make you upset like that. Wow, that girl is just vicious. Boys have really changed since my day. Really, Mom? Really? You didn't mean to upset me? You just ruined my entire life. Do you get that? Mackenzie, honey, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. It's a huge deal. First, you interrupt our video awards night, which, spoiler alert, we did care. We were just trying to be nice. Nobody wants a lame mom hanging around. And then you just show up to my school? This is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to a person. Ever! Mackenzie, I was just trying to spend some time with you. I didn't mean to upset you this much. You didn't mean to upset me? Well, if you don't want to upset me, then how about you just get out of my life then. I know you're upset right now, but you don't mean that. Yes, I do. Just go and adopt a new daughter and leave me alone forever. A few moments later. Ugh. Uh, you okay, girly? No, not really. Do you really think Ashley's gonna remember that? Oh, for sure. But don't let it get to you. She's probably just jealous that your mom is so nice. Well, we don't have to worry about her being nice anymore. Because I told her to stay out of my life forever. What? Why would you do that? Are you kidding? Did you see what she did? Let's just drop it, Sky. Meanwhile. Hello there. How can I help you? Uh, hi there. Um, I would like to adopt a daughter. Oh, yes, of course. Are you a first-time mom? You know, newborns are pretty squishy and adorable. Would you like to adopt one? Uh, no, thank you. I've already done the baby thing. In fact, I have a teenage daughter at home. She just, well, she doesn't really want to spend time with me anymore. Oh, I am so sorry. That is awful. It is, isn't it? I was hoping that I can adopt a new daughter. We get so little time with our moms. I want a daughter who will cherish our time together. I would do anything to get that back with my own mother. Hmm, so are you looking to bond with a new daughter? Or perhaps make your own daughter jealous so she decides to spend more time with you? Maybe a little bit of both? I think I may have the perfect solution for you. Later that same evening. Mom! Mom! Where are you? I want to talk. Look, I'm sorry about today. I said some really awful things and I never should have acted like that. Mom, where the heck are you? Wait, Mom? Uh, am I interrupting something? Oh, Mackenzie, you're home. Yeah, I'm home. Who is this? Mackenzie, meet Esther, your new sister. My what now? Well, honey, you were the one who told me to go out and adopt a new daughter and gave me your blessing. So, well, here she is. Esther, Mackenzie, Mackenzie, Esther. Hi, Mackenzie. It's nice to meet you. Uh, I kind of don't know what to say. Mom, uh, do you think maybe we could talk for a minute? Anything you want to say to me, you can say it in front of Esther. She is family now. 
she's my daughter too, just like you. Uh-huh, yeah, sure she is. But uh, maybe just uh, me and you could talk? Well, that would be awfully rude, wouldn't it? In fact, I want to thank you, Mackenzie. I mean, it was your idea for me to adopt a new daughter, and it turned out to be a great one. Esther and I have so many fun plans. We're going to make dinner tonight together. Wait, you are? Yeah, all of those years of begging you to help me in the kitchen, and I didn't even have to ask Esther. She volunteered. Like, can you believe it? No, I really can't. I can't believe nobody wanted to cook with your mom. I love having quality mother-daughter time in the kitchen. Is it considered quality mother-daughter time if you literally just met? I can't see. You don't need to be rude to your sister. Right, my sister. I'll be up in my room if anyone wants me. A few moments later. <laughs> All right, that's it. Oh, hi, Mackenzie. Can we help you? You guys are being so loud, and I can't even hear myself think. I'm sorry. Mom just told me the funniest thing, and I couldn't help but laugh. Mom, tell Mackenzie what you just said. Okay, I can't take it anymore. She is not your mom. She is my mom. I know I was a brat at school today, and I should never have talked to you like that. And I know it's all my fault because I said to go and adopt a new daughter. But I was just mad, and I didn't mean it. Mackenzie? No, you can't just adopt a new daughter and pretend that I don't exist. Now you're all buddy-buddy and cooking with her. And I'm all locked up in my bedroom like Cinderella's ugly stepsister. Actually, was it Cinderella the one locked in the bedroom? <sighs> Mackenzie, wait! No, I have nothing else to say. I was horrible to you. I get that. And clearly, you've moved on with another daughter. So why don't I just leave you two alone? Because you seem very happy together. She's not my daughter! Wait, what? It was the adoption center lady's idea. Esther isn't my new daughter. She's an actress I hired. I guess being lonely because your daughter is growing up isn't exactly a reason to adopt a new kid. Why would you do that? To make you jealous? Look, I'm sorry I embarrassed you, but Mackenzie, I just miss you, and I like spending time with you. I know you're growing up, but go easy on me. I've never had a teenager before. No, I'm the one who's sorry. I took you for granted. I don't care how much you embarrass me. I should never treat you that way. Can you please forgive me? Well, I guess I have no choice. It's not like I can keep Esther. I only paid her for one day. <laughs> oh, man. It wasn't just a nightmare. My pregnant morning routine as a single mom. Anyways, welcome to my mess. I just miss him so much. One eternity later. Oh, man. Again? Why? Why is this happening to me? You have called over a million times is now disconnected due to an overload of your phone calls being received. He will never answer you, so stop. Why me? A few moments later. Girly pop? Boss babe? What's wrong? I definitely don't feel like a boss babe. Well, you are, so stop being silly. You literally live in a mansion as a single mom, and you earned it all yourself. That means you're a boss babe. Then why did he leave me if I'm a boss babe? Because he's a loser, that's why. Are you sure? 100% girly, come on. Let's go watch a funny movie and then it's off to enjoy the rest of the day. What movie? Whatever one you want. Two hours later. Yeah, that was a really good movie. Right? Good bit, girly. Thanks for coming over and making me feel a lot better, Sky. Of course, girly. Well, I've got to go to work because sadly I don't have a million dollars in the bank. Yeah, I, I keep telling you to just quit. I can't afford that, crazy. Yeah, I guess that's true. Okay, well, have a good day at work. Five minutes later. Well, I guess it's finally time for me to start my day. Hello, madame. Your breakfast is ready. Could I have a coffee too, please? Already chilling in the fridge waiting. Ice? Always. Wow, you're the best. A few moments later. I just miss him so much, mom. Mackenzie, darling, you gotta chill and live your best life like I'm living my best life. Stop worrying about him and missing him. He's a loser. Like, you are way better than him. But it's hard. You know what's harder? What? Being sad all the time and not living your best life. Good talk, mom. That was so much help. Well, duh. I'm like the guru of making people feel better. I 
was being sarcastic. Well, maybe that's part of why you're missing him and not living your best life, girl. Let's take my advice. Mwah, mwah. Miss you and love you. Oh, wow. She is just so much help. Charles, we need to leave soon. Don't worry. The car is ready when you are. Thank you. Moments later. Next stop, the hospital. Yup, just like every other morning. So, are you excited? For what? Well, the baby, of course. You ask me the same question every single day on the way to the hospital, and my answer hasn't changed yet. I'm sorry. I just thought maybe the answer would be different today. Well, it hasn't changed. How about this? If it does change, I will let you know. Okay, Miss McKenzie. I will try to remember that from now on. Do you need any help, ma'am? No, I'll be fine, thanks. Five minutes later. Hey there, McKenzie. Long time no see. Yep, you can say that again. So, it looks like everything is perfectly fine and you're doing amazing. Well, that's good, I guess. It's not good, you guess. It's amazing. This is a special time. Yep, well, is everything finished? Yes, but can I convince you to go on a date with my brother? For the hundredth time i'm fine thank you just thought i'd ask again yeah maybe one day well that's a start moments later oh you again ew what did you just say i said ew do you need me to say it again no i heard you loud and clear oh every single day i have to break you two up what is the matter with you two like you know you're gonna see each other every day do you really need to fight every single time like seriously you two she started it no she started it that's that's enough, both of you. I'm already leaving. No need to scream at me, pregnant lady. Oh, there is a need on this one. Moments later. Ugh, where on earth is dumb Charles? <laughs> Charles! One eternity later. Ugh, where is this short king? Ugh! Charles, where were you? I am so sorry, Miss McKenzie, but I got caught up dealing with some family stuff. And you couldn't think to call me or maybe book me a rideshare home? Is something wrong with you? Please, please forgive me. It was so urgent that I didn't have time to deal with anything else. I won't let it happen again. I promise. Please forgive me. <laughs> What? What's wrong? I can't do this anymore. I'm just so sad all the time. I feel like everything is falling apart and I just don't feel well right now. Do you want to get some ice cream maybe? No, I don't want to get ice cream. I had ice cream yesterday and every single day before that. I need to break up this stupid routine. I need to go home and change and shower because I smell. Right away, right away. I'm driving. Get in. Oh no. Miss McKenzie, I know that you're my boss and all, but you're scaring me. Oh, come on. You're such a baby, Charles. Ah, ah. Come on. Sometimes you just need to live a little. Miss McKenzie, you're the one with the little baby in your stomach. Oh, relax. He's fine. He's going to be a star racer because of this. Ah. Many hours later. Ways to make yourself feel better. Well, these are just terrible answers. Like, they don't even help at all. I give up. This is totally useless. Ugh. Sure, yeah, coming. Too bad I don't want to see anyone. One eternity later. <gasps> what? What? Is that really you? Mackenzie, I missed you so much. I need you so bad. What, what are you doing here? I want to be together again. Really? Yes. I have waited so long for you to come through that door. And you have taken forever. It's too late. Leave. <laughs> Mackenzie, please. I don't want to fight. I, I just want to be together. Wow, some defense system she is. Please, please forgive me. I'll do anything. Do you promise you won't leave again? I promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. Pinky promise? Pinky promise. Meanwhile. I need to tell Miss Mackenzie's mom this is not good. Darn it, no answer. This is not good. Okay, I'll, I'll leave her a voicemail. Mrs. Mackenzie's mom, this is not good. You've got to come here ASAP. Meanwhile. Honey, I miss you so much. Me too, Kens. Like, I literally can't have fun or be happy without you. I never want to be apart again. You promise? Oh, 100%. Like, I love your presence and stuff so much. You're just so cute. You're the best. I haven't been doing so good without you. I am so sorry. I will never leave again. You're my forever girl and my soulmate and my best friend. I love you, baby. The next day. Oh, that man is so dead. You're telling me the audacity he has just showing up like this? Yeah, he is so dead. Moments later. Knock, knock, knock. Yeah, open up. It's the police. Sky, don't say that. Now they're not going to come. You guys need to come in and fix this. He's back. Oh, don't worry. We'll fix this. Oh, 100%. They're over there by the TV. Oh, hello, everyone. Hey, what show you guys watch?
watching. Mom, uh, hey, what's going on? Oh, it's swell. Hey, uh, do you mind? We're kind of in the middle of a good movie right now. Yeah, seriously, guys, we need to finish this. It's so good. Oh, you hear that, Mrs. McKenzie's mom? It's so good. Yeah, too bad I don't care. This monster needs to leave right now. Yeah, he's all here because of your money. Okay, that is so not true. Babe, you have to believe me. Babe. Guys, stop it. He doesn't belong here, Mackenzie. I think I'll just come back in a bit and let you deal with this. I don't really want to intrude. Well, you already did. Please, don't go. The leave. Uh, no, it won't. I promise. I'll come back. Honey, what do you think you're doing? He's only back here just because you're a millionaire. Don't be stupid. I'm serious. Like, stop it. That is so not why he's back. Meanwhile... Oh, 100%. Just give me a few more days and I'll have all her money. No way, bro. That's too amazing. How come you left, though? Her mom came in and ruined everything. Like, I would have been able to get everything tonight, but her mom knows exactly what I'm doing, so I gotta play it cool right now. And then, once this is over, we'll be together forever. Right, baby? Of course, baby. I promise. I pinky promise. Meanwhile... Like, I am just so done with this intervention. He loves me and I love him. He promised. He wants to see together forever. And if you guys aren't going to be supportive, then I don't want you here. Early, we're not only doing this because we love you, but clearly you're too stupid to listen. Get out. Now. Fine, but don't say we didn't try to warn you. Cool. I don't care. Baby, come back here. I miss you. Moments later. <gasps> I love you so much. I want to be together forever. I want that too, Angel, but there's one problem. I need you to promise to take care of me since I'm broke and don't have any money. Of course, baby. You can have all my banking information and access. I totally trust you. You're the best, baby. Several days later. Huh? Charles? Maid? Uh, what's going on? Huh? Guys, what's going on? Oh, uh, awkward. Yep, really awkward. Are you two falling in love and running away together? Um... Not exactly. Well, then what's going on? You, uh, have no more money left and the check's bounced and you can't pay us. Sorry, Mackenzie. Bye. I can't believe this. I can't believe this is happening. Huh? Who are you? And, uh, why are you in my house? I'm the bank manager, and you don't own this house anymore. What do you mean? You have no money. I don't understand. That's what they all say. Moments later. Here to apologize. Mom, I lost everything. What? What do you mean? I stole all my money, just like you said. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix this. Later that same evening. Oh, uh, hey there. Don't you hey there, me. Oh, yeah? And you're not gonna do anything about it. I won't, but my goons will. Uh, uh, please don't hurt me. I'll do anything. Give me all the money back right now. If you give the money back, then I'm leaving you. Please. Ow. No, that hurts. Give it back now. Okay, okay, okay. It's in the car. Please, just stop hurting me. Several days later. Thank you so much for everything. You're the best mom in the world. I know. Ah! <gasps> it's a baby. Can you believe this, Delaney? Mom's probably doing a victory dance right now because it's only me who's expecting. Oh, absolutely. She's probably thanking the stars that it's not double trouble on the way. <laughs> hey, don't knock it till you try it. Twins having twins could have been a good headline. Oh my gosh. Imagine the confusion. Which baby's crying now? Oh, it's just both. Them. <laughs> True, but honestly, I am so pumped about becoming a mom. It is so surreal. Definitely. Oh, and I get to be the cool aunt without any of the sleepless nights. Lucky you. You'll be the one swooping in with all the candy and the fun. Leaving all that parenting stuff to me. Wait a second. It looks like I got the short end of the stick and you got all the cool stuff. It looks like a win-win for both of us. Or should I say me? <laughs> well, I just hope this checkup goes smoothly. Oh, you'll do great, Kenzie. Just breathe and think of all the cute baby clothes waiting for us to shop. For. True. <laughs> Moments later. All right, Mackenzie, everything looks good so far. Your health is on track for a smooth pregnancy. Um, uh, actually, I'm Delaney. Oh, uh, right, right. Uh, my apologies. Right, Delaney. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm Mackenzie, not her. I'm the pregnant one. Yes, I get you both mixed up sometimes. It's just so easy. We've heard that one before. I am not surprised. Hey, we should do her as a joke just to see if she is. Are you calling me pregnant? Excuse me, rude. Well, I mean, you were saying some clothes didn't fit you lately. Mackenzie, how dare you? 
So what's the verdict, Doc? Can we do a test on her? You know what? We definitely can. Oh my gosh, this is so silly. All right, well, let's do it then. Doc, I'm Mackenzie. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I knew that. Sure you did. Well, looks like the tables might have turned. Yeah, yeah. So what's the verdict, Doc? Am I expecting a tiny little human? Well, uh, as a matter of fact... <laughs> What? What? Wow, would you look at that, Delaney? It seems like you're expecting to. Wait, seriously? You're, you're joking, right? It's a rare mix-up, but here we are. Congratulations to the both of you. Me and my twin are both pregnant? Double trouble, pregnant twins, that's something else. No, no, this can't be happening. I was supposed to be going on a girl's trip this summer. This is a disaster. Okay, it's not gonna be that bad, sis. Yeah, look at the bright side. You'll have your twin to help you. I think I'm actually gonna be sick. Well, don't go too far. I've got to inform you on all the tips of being pregnant. I'm going to go puke. She's uh, not coming back, is she? Probably not. Well, it looks like you're going to have to give her the rundown. I can do that. Three hours later. I still can't wrap my head around it. You, pregnant too? I mean, mom and dad are literally living their best lives right now. Uh, yeah, celebration I never signed up for. This feels like a nightmare. My little not so little twins are pregnant. This is a dream come true. Who would have thought the twins were having twins? See, we're kind of becoming a sensation. Wait until the news gets a hold of this. They're literally going to erupt with the joy. No way. There's no way I'm going on the news. No way at all. But honey, it's a miracle. Plus, there's probably loads of money involved too. Uh, it's not all about the money. I'm just not ready. Well, it's a little too late not to be. You just got to wrap your head around it, sis. Uh, this is sensation for all the wrong reasons. A dream come true. You two are going to be the talk of the town. No, there will be no talking of the town. Looks like I'll be practicing changing diapers nonstop. Hey, at least you won't be alone in this baby business. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm rolling my eyes right now. But wonderful. Now we can share the joy of morning sickness and swollen ankles together. Oh, sweetheart, it will be a beautiful journey. You'll see. Yeah, a beautiful journey with a lot of extra weight and mood swings. Did uh, someone say mood swings? Oh, I am out of here. Ugh. Your father is not really great with the stress, as you can tell. Oh, yeah. We can tell, Mom. Hide me from the mood swings! Later that same evening. See you soon, honey. I cannot wait. Me too. I've missed you, like, all day. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm excited to just cuddle in bed. Me too. Moments later. My kids! We need to talk right now. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Follow me. I'm pregnant. What do you mean? I know that. What? Yeah, obviously I'm happy. Ugh, I can't believe Mom told you. What is going on? You're acting so weird. Oh my gosh, where is he? He said he would be here. We're having a baby now and that wasn't the plan. But I thought it was. Are you serious right now? You're cheating on me with my sister? Kenzie? Wait, Delaney? There's two of you? Oh, that makes a lot more sense now. I can't believe both of you. You're the worst. Mackenzie, Mackenzie, wait. No. Hey, Mackenzie, have you seen your sister? Oh no, the pregnancy hormones are kicking in. <laughs> oh gosh, don't hurt me, please. I am not going to hurt you. Then why are you so angry? Uh, I'm gonna go this way now. Because our siblings are backstabbers. What are you saying right now? Go find out for yourself. They're in the garage. They are the worst ever. Or you can save yourself from sadness and come get ice cream with me. The choice is yours. What? Ugh, I am not wasting any more time. What the heck is going on? Hey, have you heard the great news yet? No, what's going on? Mackenzie stormed out of here mad. Weird, I'm not sure why she would do that. But go see Delaney. Go congratulate her. A few moments later. Brother? Delaney? What are you guys doing here? Oh, no. Did you see Mackenzie? Um, uh, we can explain. What on earth is going on right now? And yes, I did see Mackenzie, and she was not happy. Just, uh, listen for one second, please. Yeah, hear us out. We'll start talking then, because it's not looking good, and it's not looking innocent, and everything is super confusing right now. Meanwhile... I can't believe they would betray me like that. My own sister. How could she? She's the worst ever. The absolute worst. And him. Oh, he he is so finished. And that job promotion for him tomorrow, I'm going to go to his office and make sure he doesn't get it. Because there is no way I'm letting that slide. And if that backstabbing twin thinks she's going to be living at mom and dad's house, just wait until they find out. Oh, they are definitely kicking her out. And if they don't, then I'm going to move out and never come back. And then they'll all know that they messed up and come crawling back for my forgiveness. Ugh, whatever. I don't care. I just can't believe them. I mean, like, how could they do this to me? I'm like the best wife and the best sister ever. And to think we could
could have been best friends and you ruined it all, all for your sister, Karma Socks. Did you just hear all of that? Yup. <laughs> I don't get why she was so bitter. I mean, I was besties with my twin. And now she's probably gonna go and tell her child to bully my baby. Mackenzie! Oh, look who it is. Please, are you serious? Baby, I thought it was you in there. Yeah, and I thought I was talking to my husband. We're both set of twins. It's bound to happen. Oh. Yeah, I would never do that to you, sis. Oh, I'm sorry I even thought that. Uh, well, do you guys want some ice cream? No, my cravings haven't kicked in yet. Oh, we'll just wait until they do. I can, at least. She gets scary. Hey, let's just all go back home. Yeah, good idea. I mean, that ice cream does look tasty. Here, have some. Mmm, this is good. Okay, we both really need to pick different colors and not wear pink anymore. This whole twin thing just gets confusing. Yeah, and I guess me and my bro should not wear each other's clothes all the time, too. Yeah, that probably would have been a smart idea. We would have avoided all of this. Five minutes later. You know what? I think I'm not scared anymore, and I really want this baby. I don't regret it, and my girl's trip can wait. She just needs some reassurance that everything is gonna be okay. Okay, well, we should start brainstorming names. Ooh, good idea, Kenzie. How about Oliver? Ooh, I like that one. We're not having boys, we're having girls. Cat sillies. Hey, we don't know that yet. Trust me, we're having girls. All right, all right, whatever you say. What about Lily? That's awful. Ooh, I got one. Me too. Stevie. I mean, great minds think alike, but we definitely cannot name them the same. I mean, I like Chevy too. Me too. Oh my gosh, I love that one. Ugh, it's so hard picking names. Right? Well, I want Stevie, I think. But me too, though. Okay, why don't you take Chevy? Because that's not my first choice. Stevie is. You can't have it if I can. But I don't know if I have a second option. Ugh, this is too difficult. Ugh, I know, right? I'd let them do it, but I just know they're gonna be awful at it. Yeah, I totally agree. Hey, that's not fair. We'd be great. Yeah, why are you guys being so mean? Oh, come on. Don't be babies. Yeah, guys, it's not a very good look. Many months later. Ugh, why is there no food in this house? They ate us. That's why. Just look at them. They're praying on our downfall. We know you'll be praying on our downfall. Give it up. Where's the food? We should kidnap them and take them to the store. That's a great idea. Yeah, because there's nothing edible in this house. What do they expect from us? To starve? It seems like it. Oh, uh, what are we waiting for? I don't know, but I can't wait any longer. I can promise you that. Mom, Dad, why is there no food? And why are you sleeping? Get up. We're going to the grocery store. Yeah, get up, Mom. But what are you girls doing? I'm taking a nap. Where's Dad? Yeah, where is he? It's either him or you that's taking us to the store. He's not home. Okay, well, you're coming with us then. Yeah, sorry, Mom, but it's just gonna happen and you can't do anything about it. Yeah, right I am. Back away from me. Back away from me right now. Take us to the store. The stores are closed. Oh. I mean, that would make a lot more sense. Now leave my room. Oh, I am so hangry. I can't even control myself anymore. Me neither, girly. Me too. And we haven't even come up with names for our babies yet. Well, at least we're right about them being girls. Well, that one was pretty obvious. Yeah, I guess it was. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to settle with cookies again. I'm getting so sick of cookies. Me too. Much, much, much later. Push, girls! We're trying! Be stronger! Yeah, that's a little hard with our husbands in the waiting room having a great old time while we do all the work. You got that right, sis. Don't worry about that. Push, Mackenzie! Ah! Oh my gosh, my baby! Ah! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. They're basically gonna be twins. I'm gonna name you Delaney. Well, then I'm gonna name her Mackenzie after my bestie. I love you, sis. Love you too. I couldn't have thought of a better bestie to be pregnant with. I agree. Oh, both you little brats are gonna get it. My daughter is gonna bully them so hard since she's older. No one cares, weirdo. Yeah, our daughters are gonna be the coolest ever. Yeah, well, I guess we'll see about that. Whoa, girly, if I would have known it was going to be like this trying to have a cup of coffee over here, I would have gone to the zoo. At least the apes would have let me sip in peace. Whee! Watch me, Ed Sky! No, watch me! Girls, girls, please, why don't you guys calm down so you can let Aunt Sky finish the rest of her coffee without spilling it everywhere? Come on, but that's no fun. Hey, hey, I don't think me having a lap full of coffee is much fun either. Why don't we play tag? Ooh, okay, we Girls, come on, no running in the house. Ugh, whatever, I give up. They're not gonna listen to me. They never listen to me. Carly, you look so exhausted. Are you sure you don't want this coffee? Ugh, I can't. I've already hit my limit for the day. I love having twins, but gee, Sky, I am just so exhausted. From the moment they're up to the moment that they go to sleep. They're bouncing, dancing, fighting, they never stop. I mean, I knew being a single mom would be hard, but I never thought it would be this hard. Okay, well, why don't you get some help then? I mean, geez, Carly, you're gonna break. If anyone is super mom, it's you. 
you for sure. But I mean, come on. Even Elastigirl takes a break from Jack-Jack sometimes. It's literally the entire blood of the movie. If even superheroes get a break from their kids, I think it's okay that you get one too. Well, that sounds lovely, but I don't think anyone is just gonna swoop in and take my kids. Okay, well, what about daycare? What do you mean? My girls aren't old enough for daycare. Uh, yes they are. They're the perfect age. Think about a girly. They go, make some new friends, you get a break for a few hours, I can have my coffee here without spilling it on myself. It's a win-win. Uh, I don't know. I didn't do it! Okay, maybe daycare isn't the worst idea. Meanwhile... You did it! No, you did it! I'm telling mommy! No, I'm telling mommy! Oh my gosh, who burst the pipe in the floor? She did it! Oh, so neither of you did it? Fantastic. Wait, how about we take an early bath tonight and get you girls in bed? No bath! No bed! We wanna play! Girls, mommy's so tired. But we can take you in bed and then we can play. I would love to take you up on that offer, but I'm a little afraid to see what would happen to my house. Anyways, girls, I was telling you to Auntie Sky. Aunt Sky, Is she still here? No, she was traumatized for a bit and needed to go to her own child-free home. But what I was saying is, what would you guys think about going to school? Big girl school? Kind of. It's daycare, but daycare only for big kids. So, would you guys want to go? Would you come with us? Well, no, but you girls would go together. What do you say we give it a try and maybe check it out? Okay, mommy. Right, you girls are going to love it so much. Now, come on, last one to get into the bath is a rotten egg. Yay! Pipes burst. The next day. So, girls, what do you think? There's no big girl tables. No, there's not. But at this school, you have nap time. Trust me, you'll appreciate it someday. Whoa, look at all these toys. Oh, hello there. Can I help you guys? Hi, yes, I'm Mackenzie, and these are my twins, Isabel and Annabelle. My goodness. Well, hello, ladies. Who is who? Sorry, they might just be a little bit shy. They've never been to a daycare before. So, are you looking to sign them up? I'm thinking about it. I mean, the girls have never been away from me before. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I really think it will benefit them. Don't worry, Mom. A lot of parents are nervous on their kids' first day, but they will be totally fine. Girls, why don't you go play with some toys and see how you like it here? Are you sure the two of them aren't going to be, like, too much? I teach at a daycare center. I passed too much, like, a hundred kids ago. Don't worry, Mom. That's all we do here all day is wrangle kiddos. Even my two? I mean, I don't mean to sound like I'm complaining about them, because they are my kids. They're just, like, a lot sometimes. I swear, there is nothing these two little angels could throw at me that I couldn't handle. <laughs> mommy, Isabel did it! No, Mommy, Annabelle did it! She's guilty! Well, you know, you really seem to know what you're doing here. My girls are going to be in great hands. So, how does Monday sound to start? I'll go home and finish the paperwork, and then we will see you then. Come on, girls, hurry up. We need to get out of here. Several days later. Rise and shine, sleepyheads! Come on! You got a big day today. Uh, too early, Mommy. Hey, whatever happened to she's awake, so I'm away. You heard Anna. Now, come on. You girls have daycare today. How excited are you? Can we get her sleep there? Yes, actually, it's called nap time. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, we're excited. That's what I want to hear. Now, get her to bed and get your nice first day outfits on. Mommy, I don't want to wear the same dresses her. And I don't want to wear the same dresses her either. You girls look so cute when you're matching. Let's do it for the first day. Wait, I hope dressing you in the same outfit doesn't confuse the teacher. Nah, you'll be fine. You guys look too cute to pass it up. Now, come on. I will meet you girls downstairs. Moments later. All right, girls. Grab your backpacks. Let's go outside on the front step for a first day picture. Okay, girls. Say cheese. Cheese. All right, there we go. What a beautiful picture, girls. Okay, off to school we go. Let's race in the car. A few moments later. All ready, girls. Are you ready? Whoa, this is scary, Mommy. Not scary. Not any scarier than it was the last time, sweetie. Yes, it is. You're not leaving, right, Mommy? Uh, yeah, about that. I am gonna leave, but I'm gonna be right back. We have your super nice teacher here to take great care of you. And I'll be back to get you before you know it. Oh, I didn't think we're gonna stay with us all day. Believe me, when you get to high school, you will be glad I don't have to go to school with you. Now, come on, girls. Let's go inside quickly. Hi, girls. Happy first day. Wow, nice matching outfits. How am I ever going to tell you two apart? Oh, right. Well, I can help with that. Isabel is on the left and Annabelle is on the right. Okay, well, I'd better keep you guys just like that so I don't confuse you. There's no way to put a drop of paint on each of your heads, is there? Mommy, she wants to paint us. She's just kidding, honey. Uh, right? Of course I'm kidding. We have a very fun day here in class. We are going to paint and then have snack time, which of course is followed by nap time. Do you girls want to come on over to the painting table? Yeah, we love to paint. Okay, good. So say goodbye to your mommy. She will see you later. Bye, mommy. Bye, mommy. Bye, girls. Have a good day. Oh, 
Alrighty, now let me make sure I got this right. Isabel, you sit on the right, and Annabelle, you sit on the left. I'll make sure those are your seats from now on, so I'll remember who is who. I don't want to mess you two up. Then I'd have to call your mommy to come down. Isabel, did you hear that? If she can't tell who is who, then she's going to call our mommy. I know, we need to switch places and confuse her. Then she'll call mommy, and then we'll get to go home. Good idea, let's do it. Meanwhile. Hey, girls, did you enjoy your snacks? Oh, my goodness. You girls switch places. Uh, you must be on the right, so uh, you're, you're, you're Isabel? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I like to be on the right sometimes, too. Okay, girls, don't do this. I need to know who is who. Does this help? No, 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 no. I cannot mix up my students in my own class. Come on, tell me who is who right now. You can guess. We'll tell you when you're getting warmer. Hmm, okay, you know what? I think you're Isabel. Yeah, that's right. I think I am starting to be able to tell you guys apart. It just so happens I know a little something about twins. No, you can't tell us apart. Yes, I can, Annabelle. How, how did you like that? Nice try, girls. But if you're trying to trick me, you're going to have to come up with something else. Oh, bummer. I thought that was going to be a good one. Yeah, me too. You are the lady. If we want Mommy to come back, we need to think of something else. Come on, dang. Two ads are better than one, and luckily we have two. I don't have another idea. That was my idea. Okay, maybe I have one, but we're going to have to be really sneaky. Okay, let's do it. Moments later. Hi there. Isabel, wow, that is certainly a pretty picture that you're drawing. Thank you, it's a kitty cat. Well, it is a beautiful kitty cat. Hey, uh, do you know where your sister is? Huh? What sister? It's just me. Very funny, but uh, where's Annabelle? Who's Annabelle? Um, your identical twin? You're a silly lady. I don't have an identical twin. It's just me. Nice try, trying to trick me again, but I know she's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, God. Oh, God, please. No, 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 no. Don't tell me that I've lost a child. I know I'm not losing my mind. There's two of you. I saw two of you earlier, and I know that there's two of you. I don't know. I think you might be going crazy. Yeah, okay, we'll see about that. I am calling your mommy. Oh, bummer. <laughs> Meanwhile. Ah, nothing but some peace and quiet. Guy was right. This daycare thing is a great idea. <laughs> was trying to ruin my tranquil silence. Oh, well. Hello? Hello, this is the daycare lady uh, from your daughter's preschool. Is this Mackenzie? Yes, this is she. Is everything okay? Oh, yes, yes. I don't mean to worry you, but um, I just wanted to ask you, do you have one daughter or two? What? I'm sorry. I definitely should have phrased that differently. How many of my kids do you have? I know you dropped two off, but right now I have Isabelle and she's insisting she doesn't have a twin, but I know that she does. I'll be right there. Five minutes later. What is going on? <sighs> Goodness, you're here. Isabel is insisting that she's an only child. Honey, honey, where is your sister? Mommy, you came! Wait, was this all play for me to come and see you here? Uh, maybe? So you and your sister teamed up and she's hiding somewhere? It's possible. Annabelle, I know you're behind there. Hey, no fear. Oh, thank goodness. Sorry, she has a habit of hiding behind things sometimes. Now, girls, I know this is new and can be scary, but you're never gonna do that again, okay? Okay. I am really sorry about this, Mrs. Daycare Lady, ma'am. It's okay, I've got some backup. Hey, sis, you called? <gasps> See, I told you I knew a little something about twins. Wow, I can't believe we formed the twin club at school. Finally, twins like us are gonna have a place to go where we really fit in. I know, can you believe it, Isabel? I'm still in shock. How many years did it take for us to make this happen? I'm pretty sure it was all in middle school, but we did it. Finally, the rest of the school is gonna be a piece of cake. Later. Mom, we're home! And we got some really big news! Shh, I was gonna lead up to it and surprise her. Don't just blurt it out. I'm sorry, how is I supposed to know what you're thinking? We're twins, I'm pretty sure it's your job. Well, I can't read minds. Hey girls, I was wondering when you would be home. You stayed a little late after class. Yeah, and that's because we have the coolest news that we cannot wait to tell you. Well, I cannot wait to hear all about it, but there is something I need to talk to you guys about first. But this is really cool. You're gonna want to hear it. Sure I will, but I think I should share my news first. Come on, girls. Come and sit down. Uh-oh. Why do I have that bad feeling that I got when our pet goldfish died? What do you mean he died? He just went to start a new life in the toilet that would transfer him out into the ocean. Right, Mom? Yeah, well, actually, let's not get into that one. Girls, I don't know how to say this, but... We're getting a pool? I love pools! But, no, no, girls. 
girls, we're not getting a pool. Just listen, we're moving to Brookhaven. What? I'm sorry, you're gonna have to repeat that because from what you just said, it sounded like we're moving to Brookhaven. Yeah, it's gotta be something else. Like when you were moving stuff in the attic, you saw a nice raven. Yeah, yeah, that must be it. Look, girls, I just found out myself. Now, I know how much you love it here, but Brookhaven really isn't that bad. I mean, I grew up there. Yeah, and you clearly left, meaning it was awful. No, I left because I got a job here, and coincidentally, that's why I'll be moving back. But, Mom, you don't understand. We found a brand new club at school today. Yeah, that was our big news that we wanted to tell you. It's a twins club where you have to be a twin to get in. Wow, nice explanation, genius. Like, she couldn't have figured that out. Hey, I don't see you fighting to keep us here. We're founders of the club, Mom. We can't move now. Besides, we're loving school. Yeah, you can't do this to us. You can't make us leave our school and our friends. Look, guys, I'm really, really sorry, but I don't really have a choice. My job relocated me to the office in Brookhaven. And if I want to keep a roof over our head, we have to leave. Oh, roofs are overrated. Besides, at least you're bringing your built-in best friend with you. Seriously, Mom, I'd treat her if we got to stay here. Yeah, we already have the same face. I am so sick of her. Several days later. Okay, we have now reached 10,000 feet. You are free to use approved electronics. Hey, can you believe it, girls? I'm going back to my hometown to show off my two beautiful daughters. When I left Brookhaven, it was just me. But now we're going back, all of us. <laughs> Oh, come on. You guys are gonna have to talk to me sooner or later. I mean, who else is gonna cook for you? We'll starve. Yeah, we're not gonna talk to someone who uprooted us from our friends and our school. Oh, you two are so dramatic. It's not like we're getting up and leaving in the middle of nowhere. It's Brookhaven. You're gonna be at the same school that I went to. Oh my god. Do you know what I just realized? Could it be any worse than what's already happening? Oh yeah, way worse. Not only are we leaving our friends, but You'll see. Three hours later. Ah, do you smell that, girls? The fresh air of Brookhaven. You know, some things never change. Ew, it smells like butts. It does not. We're barely even that far from our old town. If this smells like butts, then the last place did too. Whoa, is this our new car? If so, I might be able to get used to Brookhaven. Yeah, it would definitely take this thing out of having to leave all of our friends. I'm sorry, do you guys think I would be moving us for work if I could afford to buy a Lambo? Now this, this is our car. Hop in, girls. Oh, Mom, this car is so old. You cannot pick us up in this from school. Yeah, it's bad enough being the new girls, but being the new girls in an old beaten up car is a whole other thing. No, you two are starting to sound really spoiled and I don't like it. Now, this move is gonna be an adjustment for all of us. I don't wanna hear any more comments about the car or the house. Wait, what's wrong with the house? Moments later. All right, welcome home, ladies. We live here? Are you sure you're not pranking us? There's really not a car outside waiting to take us back to our old home. What do you mean? What's wrong with it? Well, there's nothing wrong with it, per se. It's just that we kind of downsize. Yeah, big time. How many bedrooms are even in this house? Two? Why? Two? Does that mean? No, don't even say it. I can't even hear the words. Mom? No. Yes, you two are gonna have to share a room. Look, I don't know why it's gotta be such a big deal. A lot of twins share rooms, okay? When I was your age, I would have loved to have a sister to share a room with. Well, you can have mine. Yeah, like you're such a delight. Cousin, we're doomed. So much for good first day vibes. This automatically means we're gonna have a bad first day. She's right. And you can't argue with superstition. You two knock it off. I'm really not liking this new spoiled brat behavior at all. Now, this is the house we live in. That is the car we drive. And you two are gonna have to get used to it, okay? Okay, Mom. Now, I expect you two to give it your all tomorrow and make it the best first day of school that you can. No complaints. Yes, Mom. Sorry if we sounded ungrateful. That's right. And from now on, you're gonna give Brookhaven a chance and make the most out of being the new girls at school. I promise, once you're there, you'll see that it's really not that bad. Who knows? Maybe you'll even like it. The next morning. Okay, girls, let's get a move on. You don't wanna be late for your first day. And even if you do want to be late, hurry up so you're not late. Calm down, Mom. We're right here and ready to go. Yeah, don't get your panties in a bunch. You girls look 
Wow, really identical. Don't you like it? No, no, I do. Don't get me wrong. It's just, are you sure you guys want to dress exactly the same on your first day of school? Yeah, we're twins. I mean, don't we have to prove it? Not exactly. I'm pretty sure everyone will know that you're twins. You guys don't have to wear the exact same outfits. What's the big deal? It's not a big deal. I'm just afraid your teacher won't be able to tell you guys apart. Ugh, Mom, you worry about everything. It'll be fine. Yeah, don't worry, Mom. I got everything under control. Okay, well, have a great first day. Moments later. Whoa, this place is so much smaller than our old school. Well, at least we won't get lost. What classes do we have first again? I think English. Isabel, stop. This has gone really, really real, and I'm super duper nervous. I need to go to the bathroom. Uh, why every single time you get nervous, you need to run to the bathroom? It's not my fault. You know I have a nervous bladder, okay? Yeah, well, that's all fine and good, but I don't think I can hold it. People aren't exactly the nicest to the new girl, especially if they pee their pants. Okay, okay, you go to the bathroom, and I'll go into class and save you a seat. Thanks! Meanwhile... Okay, everyone, boys, we have an exciting day planned for all of you. Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> Okay then, well, as luck would have had it, a new student is joining our family today. Everyone, say hello to Isabel. Come on, say hello, Isabel. Uh, shouldn't I wait? Why? It's not like we have two new students. You don't have anyone to wait for. We don't? Oh, that's right, we don't. Hi, everyone, my name is Isabel. Very well then, now that we all know each other, we can begin our class reading of War and Peace. We have to read War and Peace? The book is no, I'm just kidding. We'll all be reading Goosebumps. A few moments later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, where are you headed? Um, to class? No, no, you can't go in there. We can't be seen together. Did you develop a fever when I was in the bathroom? Why are you acting so crazy? No, Annabelle, hear me out. I'm not crazy. Nobody here knows that we're twins. Somehow, my name is the only one on the list. Psh, per usual, the owners always have their name on everything. No, that's not the point. Listen to me. Nobody knows that there are two of us, which means we can switch off. Think about it. We can take turns going to class, which means 50% less school. It's a mathematical certainty. I don't know. Are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, what if we get caught? Come on, who is going to catch us? This is going to be great. You take the classes that you're good at, and I'll take the classes that I'm good at. I mean, nobody knows we're twins. We might as well have fun with it. Several days later. All right. Meanwhile. Hello? Hello there. This is the principal at Brookhaven High School. I am calling to let you know that your daughter Annabelle hasn't been in class all week. Wait, what? Yes, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but she hasn't been here once. I don't understand. I drop both of my girls off at school every day. I don't see how this could possibly happen. I don't know what to tell you. Let me look into this, Mr. Principal Man, sir. I'll get to the bottom of it. All right, girls. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Which is why I put a little tracker on your phones. All right, let's see where you two are. Okay, Isabel's at school. Good. And what about Annabelle? <gasps> what is she doing at the movies? A few moments later. <laughs> Ooh, watch out! Oh, darn it, I'm a little popcorn. Oh, would you like a refill, miss? Sure, thank you very much, kind stranger. Uh-oh. Moments later. Why on earth did you think you could pass as one person so you could only go to school half of the time? Look, we're really sorry. We know what we did was wrong. Yeah, we just didn't want to have to be the new girls. It seemed easier to only go half the time. Look, girls, I understand the fear of being the new kid, but now you are both going to have to make up all the classes that you've missed. This is ridiculous. They can't give us two whole pages of homework. Now I'm going to have to spend the rest of the day doing homework. Ugh, I am so annoyed right now. We can't let this stand. We need to do something. Like what? Like we need to start a protest or something. I don't know. Maybe we should call the president? The president isn't going to help us. He's too busy doing president stuff like sleeping and playing dress up. I don't think the president spends his days sleeping and playing dress up, Sky. Meanwhile... <laughs> I'm a Tyrannosaurus Rex! Roar! Moments later. Ugh, so what are we gonna do? Well, I guess we have no choice but to just do our homework. No way, I refuse. They can't make me do two pages of homework. That's basically torture. Then what are we gonna do? You'll get in trouble if you don't do it. I'm gonna make a robot that will do our homework 
for us. Really? You know how to do that? How hard could it be? All I have to do is build a robot. Easy peasy. You're right. That does sound easy peasy. It's gonna be the greatest invention since pizza. Well, I'm totally gonna to try this, but uh, did you just see that toddler run by too? Or am I going crazy? Oh, I definitely saw that. I just didn't really care. All right. I just wanted to make sure. So, uh, what's the plan? We're gonna need cardboard boxes and markers. Okay. And also, like, a ton of science-y stuff. Science-y stuff? Like what? I don't know, Sky. We'll figure it out along the way. <laughs> huh? Okay, uh, that's strange. Okay, well, maybe your dad has some science-y stuff. My dad doesn't really like science. He likes golf, which is so dumb. Wait a second. I wonder... Five minutes later. Hey, excuse me. Uh, have you seen a toddler? What's a toddler? Like a tiny human. Are you calling me short? What? No, I'm just looking for a little kid. Oh, yeah. Well, there's one right over there. Great. Thank you. Hey, little girl, you know that ice cream cone doesn't belong to you. Oh, thank goodness. You must be her mom. She's been stealing all this ice cream. No, I'm not. Where are your parents, little girl? Are they nearby? Wait, are you an orphan? <gasps> that must be it. You're an orphan. Well, what if... This is the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. You're coming home with me. I'm gonna be your new mama. Come on, new daughter. Let's go. <gasps> Wait a second. Are you guys twins? Oh, no. This is the most scared I've ever been in my entire life. This is not good. Actually, no. I can do this. I can handle two of you guys. I mean, can't I? Yeah, I can do this. Come on, girls. Let's go. One hour later. Mom, Dad, say hello to my new children. Uh, excuse me? I don't really remember you being pregnant. I found these two at the grocery store today. They're orphans, so I decided to be their mom. Right. Well, good job, Mackenzie. Uh, just give us one second. We're gonna go upstairs and talk for a second. We'll be right back. Huh. I wonder what they're gonna be talking about. Maybe they're gonna be setting up your guys' new bedrooms. Huh? What are you guys doing? We are moving to Hawaii. Good luck. And remember, don't feed them after midnight. What? Why are you moving to Hawaii? To get away from those things. That's not very encouraging. All right, I can do this. They're really well-behaved kids. This is going to be easy. A few moments later. You guys, are you serious? Hey, no more of that. It's time to take a nap, okay? It's a nap time. No, 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 no. No more of this, you guys. Put the motorcycle away. Enough. you cry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> here, let's all just go inside. Come on, we can just calm down in here. <laughs> Stop that. Guys, guys, please don't do that. I want a motorcycle. Oh no, this isn't good. This isn't good. Ah! No, 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 no. I just gotta lock myself in here. No, 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 no. That's not good either. No! Oh gosh, this is bad. This is really bad. Toddlers on a motorcycle? That's my biggest fear. Oh gosh, and I'm the only one who can fix this. It's my duty to fix these toddlers. And I think I got an idea. Three hours later. Hey, hey, what are you guys doing? No, 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 you can't destroy that stuff. Stop, no, that doesn't belong to you. What you're doing right now is very wrong. You both need to stop that and come back home with me, okay? I'll make you guys some cookies. We cannot. What the heck? You guys are terrifying. We refuse to go with you. We must watch Brookhaven burn forever and ever. Um, please don't. It's too late, Mackenzie. Far too late. It's not too late. You guys can forget all about destroying Brookhaven. You can come and be normal children. And I'll be your mother. Does that sound nice? That sounds terrible, actually. We hate normal children. We like destruction. Please, guys, come on. Sorry, Mackenzie, or should I say mom, but it's time for us to destroy you too. Wait, what? Say adios, mother. We can talk about this. You guys don't need to destroy me, okay? Won't you listen to me? No? Well, fine. Say hello to my little friend. Huh? What? What is this? A robot? You think a robot can defeat us? Well, maybe not defeat you, but parent you. What? I am a robot. I have been programmed to do two things. Complete Mackenzie's homework and be a good mother. Huh? A good mother? But that's impossible. I see two orphan children in need of a mother. Come here, my children. I will take care of you. No, stop. Leave us alone. We don't want you, mother. Yeah, we want to destroy their cave in. That's right. It looks like these toddlers need a bottle. What do you think you're... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Dude, you gotta try this. It's actually really good. Sis, I thought we were going to destroy Brookhaven. I mean, I'm not so sure anymore. This is like really good. Huh? What is it? It's milk, I think. Huh? I like 
again. No way, this one's mine. I want some. Give it to me. Do not cry, children. There is enough to go around. Here you go, little girl. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, I know, right? This might be the best string I've ever had in my entire life. Me too. Maybe we should let this robot be our mother so that we can get more of this milk. Yeah, that's a really great idea. I know, right? What do you say, girls? Will you be my kids? If it means more milk, then absolutely. Oh, it's wonderful. Ahem, <clears throat> and? Oh, right. Present your homework. Let me see. And it is all done. Whoa, awesome. I know. I'm going to bring you my homework every day from now on. I don't know if I will have the time. I am going to be busy raising these children. But I built you to do my homework. You built me to do your homework and raise children, but I cannot do both. Well, then can't you just do my homework? Would you rather I do your homework and these kids destroy Brookhaven or do you do your own homework and these kids get a happy life with a loving mother who is also a robot? Hmm, that's a tough one. Really? Because I think it is pretty easy. But I really don't like homework. I am going to raise the children, Mackenzie. Sorry. Oh, man. I can't really tell if I'm happy or sad right now. Hey, Mackenzie. What you doing? I just saved Brookhaven from total destruction. But now I have to do all of my own homework for the rest of my life. Cool. I finished my homework early. My robot did my homework for me, but then told me I would never do it again. Cool. Can I see it? Oh, man. Would you look at that? I got every question wrong. I'm going to miss being a mom. I'm sorry. What? Oh, yeah. You don't know. I became a mom to these two twin little girls. But then they turned into human tornadoes. So I had to give them my robot so it could raise them properly. Man, what? always go on these adventures without me. That sounds like so much fun. Fun? No, it was devastating. I loved those girls and now they're gone forever. Oh, that's too bad. So, do you want to go play at my house? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go. So, how'd you build that robot in the first place? I don't know. I just started putting things together until it clicked and then it just sort of came to life. That is so weird. Yeah, I guess so. Well, now that I think about it, I don't know if I put a button on the robot that turns it evil or not. Oh, why would you do that? I don't know. I thought it would be funny. That does sound kind of funny. I think I did put one on the robot, though. That could end very badly. Bad like that explosion that we just heard? Maybe. Anyways, what do you want to go play at your house? This is Mackenzie. Her husband died of cancer. Now she is all alone in her big house. So she decided to adopt twins. But she wasn't prepared for how much trouble they would be. Hey, Sky. Wow, took you long enough. Wow, girly, I cannot believe you live here when you said you were buying your first house out of college. Let's just say this is not what I expected. I'm afraid to now ask what your expectations were. Yeah, I probably wouldn't. All right, well, come on in. I'll give you a tour. A few moments later. Welcome to what I would like to call Casa de McKenzie. The name is subject to change, so don't worry. Now, please keep your hands, feet, and body parts inside the tram during the whole time and supervise your children. You have gone to Disneyland way too many times. Hold up. Is that a water bottle in your hand? Uh, yeah? Why? No food or beverages permitted on this tour. Leave it at the counter. Really, girly? Yes, you could spill. Now, we're gonna start in my very big, spacious living room. And as you can see, the kitchen is off to the side for all your eating needs. And the TV is right in here for all your Netflix needs. Yeah, this is cool and all, but I don't want to see things like the pool and most importantly, where my bedroom is gonna be. Ah, yes, of course. One of the most important aspects of the tour. Come on, follow me. Whoa, this is gonna be all mine? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I have so many bedrooms, and it's not like anyone else is gonna be staying here. It's just me, and that's okay. I've got this huge, awesome house, and more importantly, I've got you. Well, I cannot wait to stay here. This is gonna be amazing. Let's continue with the tour, shall we? Moments later. And last but not least, the pool. And to answer the question that I know you're gonna ask, yes, you can eat in it, but only on a raft. Yes, wow, I gotta tell you, girl. I am so, so proud of you. I mean, look at all you've done for yourself. Who else at your age has their own place? Never mind a huge house like this. If I haven't told you recently, you're a rock star. Thanks, guy. Your voice doesn't sound like someone who's done well for themselves. Scratch that. Your face doesn't look like it either. Why do you look so 
sad. I don't know. I mean, I've got everything I want, right? I don't know why I feel just so lonely. You don't have to be lonely, girly. You have me. It's not just like lonely. It's like empty. Something missing from my life. I've got all the space, but nobody to fill it. Ugh, I just don't know what's wrong with me. Meanwhile. Wow, it is so quiet in here. I can actually hear myself think. I can't remember the last time we didn't have any kids in here. <laughs> Darn it, I knew it was too good to be true. Why do I always jing myself? Why? Um, hello? If there are kids ding dong ditching me, I'm gonna be very seriously steamed. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Babies who just left their babies! Wait, girls, is there someone here with you? Wait, hello? Someone, you forgot your babies! Oh, if they were left outside the adoption center, maybe that just means that whoever left them can't take them and wants to put them up for adoption. Well, there goes my quiet time. Okay, my sweet babies, let me bring you guys on inside and get you all warm and cozy. Meanwhile... I don't think there's anything wrong with you, girly. In fact, I think I may know exactly what's missing. Guy, if you say moving in, we both know that's not gonna end well. Sometimes Bessie shouldn't be roomies. No, no, not that. It's the B word. As in Bestie? No, as in baby. Face a girly you totally want a baby. Oh my god, is that what you think? Look, I'm not an expert, but in my expert opinion, I think what the problem is, is you want a baby. I think you're right. I think I want a baby. Oh my gosh, Sky, what do I do? Uh, you have a baby? I mean, it's not like you don't have the room. You can have like five, and they can each have their own room. Dang, I would be so envious of those babies living in this house. No, but it's just me. I'm single. I don't have a husband anymore, or anything. Wait a minute, you don't have Josh's number after all those years, do you? Girly, what is this? The 18th century? You don't need a man to have a baby. Heck, you don't need a man for anything. Woman empowerment. I don't? Oh, go to the adoption center and adopt one. Adoption? I like the sound of that. The next day. Oh my gosh, I am getting too old for this. You two need a home. Why is it that you are so tiny, but you make so much noise? There's only one of me. Man, I hope a couple comes in here to adopt you soon. Meanwhile. I am so excited. I feel like I'm about to get a puppy or something. Yeah, word of advice. Don't say that. Nothing will make them happier to give you a human baby than comparing it to a dog. I'm kind of nervous. Do you think I'm ready for this? It's just one little baby. I mean, how hard could it be? Moments later. Oh, hello there. How could I help you two? Hi, Mrs. Adoption Lady, ma'am. My bestie here is looking to adopt a baby. Oh, she is, is she? Yes, I'm going to be a single mom, but heck, I know I can do it. Do you have any babies available? Babies! Yes, I definitely have babies available. Perfect timing, actually. Why don't you come on in? And now, did I hear you correctly? It's uh, just you or are you both looking to adopt together? No! I mean, I shouldn't have said it that fast. I just mean no. This baby is for her, not for me. Not that I don't ever want one. It's just I like to sleep way too much and I don't have as many rooms as she does. And I also don't know why I'm still talking, so I'm going to stop right now. So, you're going to be a single mom. Yes, is that okay? That's not a problem, is it? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> not at all. So, do you have any babies available? Yeah, about that. I don't have any baby available, but I have babies available. They're identical twins. You can't really break up a set. There's two of them? Wow, girly, did you not know how twins worked? Really, Sky? They just became available for adoption. Someone left them outside yesterday. They're twin girls. And you can't just give me one? No, you don't split twins up. They're really cute, though. Yeah, but there's also, like, two of them. What are their names? I don't know. So, I named them Isabel and Annabelle. You gave them rhyming names? That's cruel. Hey, nobody else was here to help, okay? So, what do you think? You up for the challenge? I mean, you certainly Certainly do have the room for them, girly. Hi, stop helping. I don't know who else would adopt the girls. I don't want them to spend their whole life here. No, of course not. I mean, I thought I could handle one baby, so what's one more? This way, at least they'll have a friend. You'll do fine. Two babies really is easier than one. Is that true? No, but did hearing it make you feel better? For a split second, yeah. So, what do you say, girly? Aw, she is really, really cute. And the other one's really, really cute, too. Hi, baby. Do you want me to be your mom? Yes, mama. Well, I can't say no. Look at their faces. All right. 
I'll do it. Moments later. Why did I agree to take two? Sky, how did I agree to this? How could you let me do this? I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know how to take care of two babies. Relax, girly, relax. You are a girl boss. Being a single mom to twins is hard, but you can totally do it. Look at the girls. They're super happy right now. I mean, I guess, and they are super cute. Can you believe I have two daughters? No, but clearly you're already an amazing mom. Because look, they're not even crying. Sky! What? It's not like I made her cry. No, but you totally jinxed the moment. Okay, okay, I got this. Let me just pick her up. Shh, shh. It's okay, Isabel. Wait, or are you Annabelle? Which baby are you, Sky? I don't know which is which. Are you serious? You've only had them for like two hours. You're their mom. Are you supposed to know? Okay, that is like really not helping right now. Sorry, sorry. Okay, if I remember correctly, Isabel was in pink when we left the adoption center, which means that would be Annabelle in the blue. Okay, Isabel, so maybe I should write like an I on her just to be sure. Not a bad idea. Or a B for pink. How are we supposed to get through the night with them? I don't know. Maybe. Wait, we? Yeah, you're not going to leave me alone, are you? Well, clearly I was going to help you baby proof, but then I was going to leave because like I mentioned before, I really like sleep. Yeah, well, it looks like neither of us are going to be getting any sleep for a very long time. Many hours later. Oh my God. lady totally lied. Two babies is not easier than one. As soon as one starts crying, she wakes up the other one and then they both start crying. Sorry, I can't really hear you right now. I have a baby crying in my ear all night. <gasps> Sky, look, they're quiet right now. What did we do so we could do it again later? I don't know, but let's not question it. Let's just put them down and then back away slowly. Meanwhile, do you have the baby monitor so we can hear them? Right under the pillow, girly. I can do this, right? Like, I can be a single mom. I got this. You have it better than anyone else I know. Thanks, Sky. Well, at least let's try and get a few hours of sleep. The next morning. <gasps> Sky! Sky! Get up! Wait! Wait! Is it the babies? What's going on? Oh, Sky! It's morning! We did it! We made it through the night! We did? And the babies are okay? They're fine! They're asleep! Oh my god, girly! We did it! I just knew we could! Actually, you did it, but I never lost faith in you! This is it, Sky! I can feel it! I mean, if I can make it through the night as a single mom with two twin babies, then that has got to be the hardest part about being a mom! And if I can get through them being little, then nothing can be harder than that! Ten years later... Because you're 15 and you're not old enough to drive. So what? My friend's mom let her drive. Well, I'm not their mom. If they were allowed to jump off a bridge, would you? If it would make me popular? Yeah. Wrong answer. Wait, if I get the right answer, would you let me drive? No. Ah, you're the worst. Hey, you try being a single mom of twins. It's not easy. Em, where have you been? I thought school ended an hour ago. You could have been dead in a ditch somewhere. Oh my God, mom. You're so dramatic. So, where were you? I had detention, okay? No big deal. Detention? I'm sorry. Detention is a really big deal. Ugh, why do you always have to overreact? What did you do? Nothing. They gave you detention for nothing? No, if anything, I'm a brave hero, though. Everyone knows my teacher is a butt face, but just because I'm the one brave enough to say it, I get detention? It is so not fair. Oh, you think that's not fair? Mom won't let me drive. Wait, why? You should be able to drive. If you can, then I can. This was so much easier when you were babies. Today, I'm going to be creating a Roblox account for my daughter. Well, if I had one, of course. First, I'll be creating her a school look. Then, I'll be creating her a casual outfit. And finally, I will be creating her a dance class outfit. <laughs> Now, I'm supposed to type in my daughter's birthday, but this is still to be determined. I mean, I have to show you guys, I am not pregnant, and I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Now, let's see. What if I just put my birthday in? Oh my gosh, that would be a dream to have a kid on your birthday. Wait, maybe I wouldn't then, because the day's supposed to be all about you, but then the day would be all about her. For the sake of this video, though, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. My daughter is the username. What? Someone already has my daughter? How can they have my daughter if it's my daughter? That doesn't even make sense. My daughter, the cutie? Bazinger! It's available. Perfect. Wow, that was easy enough. If my daughter is not a cutie, then no, I don't want her. I'm kidding. I will love my daughter. I'm kidding. I will love my daughter so much. Even if she's not a cutie, but don't worry, she'll be a cutie. <laughs> if my daughter comes out looking like this, then that's it. I am sending her back. I don't know if you can really return children, though. Do they have, like, a receipt? Maybe I can get, like, a refund or something. Okay, okay, we 
we need a fresh start, a clean start here. I mean, she's probably gonna have similar tendencies and characteristics that I have. We're gonna type in blonde hair. Let's see what we're gonna get. Ooh, so this look is when she's going to school. What kind of school hairstyle should I give her? Oh, this one's really cute, but this is more of like baby hair. That's probably exactly what my hair looked like when I was a baby. It's probably messy like that too. Look at that piece sticking up on the head. I probably never brushed my own hair. My mom probably did it all for me. And I will do the same for my daughter. Okay, what else? What else? I don't want something like this. That's a little bit too mature. A blowout? She does not need that. <gasps> what about cute little ribbons? Oh my gosh, I want to give her a little ribbon hairstyle. I just want to be so extra. And now my daughter looks so cutesy like that. She looks like a little farmer girl. And I don't like the front. I don't like the bangs. It's not doing it for me. What else? Is there any cute pigtails? I feel like that's a good option. Whoa, the rainbow hair? I... Uh, no way. Can't be going to school with rainbow hair. She is way too young for that. <gasps> this was really cute. The pigtails just make her look so childish. I love this one. See, come on. This automatically makes her look like a kid. Like a little cute kid. Oh, I'm buying this. This is adorable. I love it already. I love her already. She's not even in here yet, but I love her. Now for her outfit. What kind of school outfit should I give her? Obviously, it's got to be pink. Pink school girl outfit. Oh my gosh, a tie? I don't think I should make her wear this tie. Although it's adorable, I think it would be disrespectful respectful if I made my daughter wear a tie to school. I mean, honestly, she can wear whatever she wants to wear to school. If she wants to wear a tie, then she can go ahead and wear a tie. But if she doesn't, I'm not going to force her to do anything. What about this one? This one's cute. It also has a little bow tie. Are bow ties in right now? Oh my goodness. Look at this one. Look at, oh, it's so cute. It has like a fake backpack on already. But I want a real backpack. I am not going to lie. I absolutely love this one. It's not like a bow tie. It's just like a cute little bow. And it's perfect for a kid to go to like elementary elementary school or something. You ask me, I think it's adorable. I'm gonna buy for my daughter. I feel like that's gonna be me shopping all the time. I'm just gonna find something cute and be like, buy it. I need it? Yes, I need all of this. It even has a matching skirt and look at the stickers. I mean, kids put stickers all over their body all the time. This is normal. And the cute sneakers, oh, they're adorable. You know, it's not a pink outfit. It has pink in it, but it's more of like a cotton candy outfit and my daughter's gotta love cotton candy. Because I mean, I love cotton candy. How could she not? Maybe I'll put cute pink bows in her hair. Ooh, should I do the double bow? The single? Single bow? Ooh, there's even more double bows down here. There's so many options. Too many options, honestly. I wonder what stores I'll shop at for my child. Oh my gosh, these bows are giant. I love it. We're buying them. What is a backpack? I need to set her up. She needs a backpack. A pink backpack, obviously. I wish we had a cutie's backpack in here. That would be fabulous. This one is pretty darn close, though. Oh, and it has a bow. It's gonna tie her outfit together so perfectly. See, look at that. She's gonna be rocking her pink backpack. She's gonna have her lunch inside that... I am gonna make for her. I loved it when my mom packed me lunches for school. It was like the best feeling ever. Especially when you pull out the gusher pack. Oh, bam. That was the best. But I think I got my daughter's school open already. I'm gonna put it all on and let's see it. Okay, I know I'm not actually a kid, but this is exactly how I would dress my kid for school. That is if I had one. Honestly, I did so well at putting this outfit together, but for some reason, my head looked so big. I think it's this big head of hair. You have a lot of hair on that head. I bet you I could fool a few people to thinking that I'm actually my own daughter. But maybe I should test it out on Sky first. I bet you she hasn't left for school yet. Oh gosh, I gotta go catch her. Ugh, come on, Sky. I don't have all day. I mean, I kind of do because I'm a kid, but come on, answer the door. Oh, um, hi, little girl. Uh, are you lost? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. Good, good. Are you selling something? Must be girl guide season already, huh? Nope. Bottle drive? Nope, not that either. It might just be easier if you tell me why you're here, dear. I was just looking for Sky, but you just helped me instead. Thanks, Mrs. Sky's mom, ma'am. I'm sorry. Who are you? Well, I mean, that's kind of a long story. Okay, strange little girl. I'm sorry, but I don't have time for this. We're just about to head to school. Oh, that's perfect. I'll hitch with you. Not what I meant, but, um... All right, ready, Mom? Oh, uh, hi? Mom, why is there a little girl outside our house? I thought you knew each other. What is going on? Hey, Sky. sorry for the confusion. I'm Mackenzie's daughter. <gasps> Mackenzie had a child? Oh, my gosh, <laughs> no. You look exactly like her, but younger. This is so scary. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. What in the world is going on right now? I'm not actually her. I, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Sky, it's me, Mackenzie. I'm just dressed as my daughter. Really? Mackenzie, again with the dress up. You almost gave me a heart attack. Speak for yourself, Mom. I think I did have a heart attack. Sorry. Sorry does not cut it, girly. I think I peed my pants. <gasps> Sky. Not actually, I think. So, you ready for school, girly? I'll be in the car.
car. What do you mean, school? You can't go to school looking like that. You'll be sent back to fifth grade. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Well, why don't you just wait around and then we can hang out after school? Hmm. But I gotta go, girly. I'm already late. I'll see you later. Well, if I'm gonna be hanging out later, I should probably find something a little bit more casual. Hmm, what would my future daughter wear? All right, I need a casual outfit. A cute but casual outfit. We need a new hairstyle. A new cute hairstyle. Ooh, this one's really pretty. <gasps> I could give my daughter her own cute little braids. I mean, I could do this, right? At least I could learn how to do this. If I was a mom, I would definitely learn how to do that. I could probably braid my hair in a little braid like that. Actually, I'm probably better at braiding other people's hair than actually braiding my own. Oh my god, this one is adorable. I would for sure give my daughter like pigtails and then curl the hair just like this. In the last hairstyle, I had a lot of hair. But this, oh, stop. This is so cute. It shapes the face so nicely. Whoever designed this, A1, honestly. This looks really adorable. I'm very tempted to buy this, but this is the first one I looked at. No, that's it, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. I have to buy it. Look how adorable that is. I've decided I'm growing my daughter's hair out very long. I feel like long hair is just so cute. But short hair is also cute, I don't know. Okay, I need a casual outfit. Cute, but casual outfit. What do children like to wear? Oh my gosh, a leopard print? No, thank you. That's a lot. That's a lot to look at. It's very messy. Rainbow! Maybe my daughter will like rainbow. A strawberry sweater? Okay, that could also be adorable. I don't want her to be too fashionable, though, because she can't be more fashionable than her mother. I mean, I always want her to look more cute, but never more fashionable. But I guess if they compliment her, they're really complimenting me, because I'm the one who dressed her. Oh my gosh, anything with kitties on it just makes it so much cuter. I love it when I see kids walking around, they have, like, cat ears on. Like, headbands that are, like, cat ears. I think that's adorable. You know, they just don't care what other people think about them. And that is one thing I love about kids. And this is so cute. How could I not buy that? I have to buy it. What about pants? Maybe I'll give her a skirt, like a pink skirt. <gasps> a tutu. I love it when kids wear tutus. I mean, it's not very casual. I think like a cute outfit in a tutu is so cute. Don't judge me, but my kid will be walking around in a tutu. That will be like her normal outfit. Like that's not her dressing up for any special occasion. That's her normal go-to casual outfit. But first I think we need like a little skirt to go underneath the tutu. So we should probably buy a skirt. And then time for the tutu. What kind of tutus they got on here? Oh my goodness. I don't want it to be like too extravagant though. It's just gonna be like low key tutu. This isn't very low key, but I absolutely love it. It's so cute. I love everything about it. No, I love it so much for buying it. Oh my gosh. I'm not even dressing up for her dance outfit yet and she's already wearing a tutu. What is wrong with me? And hair accessories. I think we need some more bows. Or maybe should I give her clips this time? Clips would be cute. Oh my gosh. So we got the pink clips, the heart clips, the star clips. Oh, I like these hearts. See, these hearts are adorable. It reminds me of Valentine's Day. We're buying them. It looks a little wacky with a bald head, but it'll look adorable with her hair. Okay, it's time to put on my kid's casual outfit. <laughs> Much better. All right, now I'm all comfy and ready to hang out with some friends. I can get used to the stress-free life of being a kid. Mackenzie's daughter, get down here this instant. Ah, who the heck was that? I mean, it's probably best to just ignore it. I swear, if I have to ask again, what are you doing? Um, nothing, but who are you? Excuse me? To which part? Kenzie's daughter, I am your mother, and you do not speak to me like that. Wait, you are me, like, in the future? I don't have time for this today. Downstairs, now. Whoa, that's sick. Well, since I dressed up as my daughter, I guess Roblox Mackenzie grew up to be a mom. I mean, I kind of thought it would be nicer, but hey, we all have bad days, right? Okay, I better get down there and see what's up. Took you long enough. Now look at this mess. I'm looking. Don't give me that. Why do I always come home from work to more work? Can't you just clean up for yourself once? I'm sorry, really, I... Just clean it up now. You have to be at dance class in 30 minutes, so no dilly-dallying, and I need a Mackenzie's daughter. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna take a shower. Oh, look at this mess. Ew, it wasn't even me. But anyways, did she say that I have a dance class in 30 minutes? Oh, forget the mess. I need to find an outfit. I look so adorable. I don't even want to take this outfit off. But I need to find a dance outfit because, you know, I mean, you could wear the tutu to dance, but definitely not the sweater. I'm just going to redo the whole outfit. I want a full dance outfit. <gasps> I want to put my hair in a cute bun. Let's see what cute buns they got going on here. I want a ballet bun. This one always reminds me of Cinderella. I can't even wear it because that is Cinderella's bun. Whoa, look at this bun. This reminds me of, like, the Who's hairstyle from the Grinch. What else? What else? Where's all the buns? 
buns. A Swedish cinnamon bun? That's not the type of bun that I was thinking about, but that does look delicious. Ooh, what's this one? I don't know if I've seen this bun before. Platinum pink accents bun? Oh my gosh, it literally covers my whole head. This reminds me of a hairstyle that a granny would have if she worked at a salon. Whoa, this bun has spikes in it. Oh my gosh, look at these girls. <gasps> what about this one? Messy knot bun? Oh no, this one's even cuter. Forget that last one. Yeah, this one is adorable because it has the bangs. And look at that. That's a cute, that's a fluffy bun. We got a big fluffy bun. My kid's got to stand out with her bun. And what about a tutu? I want to find a cute tutu. What should I use? I mean, I guess there's not that very many options here. What if we go full, what bam Flying saucer on my tutu. Oh yes, this is like I'm performing at a concert. Like I'm a soloist. I am performing. It's cute. I guess we're going for more of a purpley look now. Let's see, let's see. Do they have any like purple tutus to go underneath that? Oh, this one's kind of purpley. See, my daughter doesn't only like pink. She just likes any colors that are cute. Honestly, we do not discriminate against the colors. Unless the colors are ugly. Then we do discriminate. She needs a bow in her hair. Maybe right above her bun. Ooh, or like a headband. Oh, wow. There's lots of purple things here. Okay, what kind of bow should she have in her hair, though? What about something like this? <gasps> like a ribbon. Ooh, that's very dance-esque. Oh, my God. Gosh, that is not what I really had imagined. It's like a ribbon fairy wings. It's a huge ribbon. No one told me it was gonna look like that. I mean, I guess they literally have giant in the title, so I should have assumed it was literally giant. This one's pretty. How does this one go in my hair? Oh, no, stop it. We need the flower crown. The flower crown for ballet. It's gonna look so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm a stylist. That's what I am. I think I'm taking up a new hobby. What else do you need for ballet class? Oh, ballet shoes. Do you need ballet slippers? Ballet buttons scrunchy. Does this go around my bun? Oh, I don't know if it would fit around my bun because my bun is huge. Bigger than that probably. But I will need some ballet shoes. Some ribbon shoes. Honestly, I haven't worn much of the shoes, but these are fabulous. Okay, I kind of have like a pinky purple outfit going on here. What about ballet slippers? Cute little ballet slippers. Can I buy the purple ones? Do they have pink ones? They do, but they're a little light for my liking. I want like a dark pink. Okay, we can try purple. See, these ones, oh, they just go around your shoulder just like that. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, let's put my whole belly outfit on and see how it looks. I am glad that I ran your else. I would probably still be getting an earful for not cleaning up. And I mean, come on, it's dance class. I cannot miss it. Ooh, I wonder if I get to practice my pirouettes. Mackenzie's daughter, you're late. Sorry about that. I had to run. No excuses for tardiness. Get in line. Um, yes, Mrs. Teacher, ma'am. Ugh. Hey. Don't talk to me, loser. Wait a minute. One more peep and I'll squash you. You've got to be Ashley's daughter. And what about it? I'm Mackenzie's daughter. Well, kind of. Okay. This is crazy. Hush, you two, and point your toes, Mackenzie's daughter. Don't be a slacker. Oh, she's intense, huh? If you get me in trouble, I'll get my mom to bully your mom. Eh, she already does. That's it. Mackenzie's daughter, you're out. Leave immediately. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that was fun while it lasted. But if this is how my future daughter is actually going to turn out, then I think I am way over my head.